I really need like a stream opening screen. Like a, a five minute long sit tight and get ready for the stream sort of thing. Oh well, I'll worry about that later. At the moment, I am okay with this. Yo, someone raided me on December the 9th? I didn't even know. Guess I missed that when it came up. Uh. Anyways. I believe it is time we continue on with Radiant Historia. And last time I said I wanted to start the uh, alternate history route, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go way over here and we're gonna start the alternate history route in the mines because we saved the merchant guy from getting killed and now we know how to blow up bombs. Uh, we can skip this. Pretty much just the, the mine is blocked. We've been over this before. We're going to send scouts, and they're going to find the merchant. Should I send, should I send scouts to find out the merchant? I'm going to send the scouts. No, let's send out scouts. We can't ignore the possibility that the force is coming here, just a division. A diversion. I can't read. It would be more prudent to strike swiftly than to engage them in a prolonged ambush. You're right. It would be foolish to think they'd dispatch their entire army to Alma Mine. And the merchant can't be that far. You seem confident of that. Very well. Kill! Select a few men from the brigade to do a thorough search of the area. The merchant could be close, but he more than likely got lost. Or attempted to be killed by some bandits. Sir, yes sir! Oh man, I'm <clears throat> I'm not on par with the voices today. Sir, sir, yes sir! The explosives are here! Even faster than I thought, stock is right on the money. Now we can go in! So despite being separate, this is how the two timelines affect each other. Because game mechanic can be this. We'll blow up the entrance and move in immediately. Stay back and take cover. Permission to detonate, Captain? Permission granted, soldier. Kablamo! Yay! The event Breaking Rocks has been revised. Duel in the Dark has been added as an event. Now the mission can proceed. The interference of the other Chronicle's owner has been thwarted. Which means history is playing out one step closer to its proper course. But that doesn't mean it won't be tampered with again. If so, I'll have to use the same trick to circumvent his schemes. Because we're going under the assumption that it's a male villain. I don't know guys, maybe it's not. Maybe it is. I actually know who the I remember who the main bad guy is, but I don't. I'm not gonna spoil it. Sorry, the main bad person. Don't want to assume their gender too early. Let's go over the details of the mission one more time. We have reason to believe that Grand Orc's forces are infiltrating this mine. Our job is to find and annihilate them with style. Captain, do we know how many there are? They won't be able to send a huge force into a cramped mine, so I doubt there's too many. But don't let your guard down, this will be your first battle. You're all extremely weak and untrained. We'll be okay, the Prophet Noah is watching over us. The heathen soldiers of Granor can't beat us. Right guys? Yeah, we're the pure melted snow. We'll wash them away, lickety split. Long live the- ooh, who's here? Oh, hello. Someone I haven't seen before. Hello, September Sun 21. I love this game too. I first played this game about seven years ago, and I recently found an emulator and I wanted to play it again because 
I never 100% it. Like, there was a secret boss I was never able to find. Oh, yeah, I never played the 3DS version. I only got the original. I might try the to try and find an emulator of the, uh... This is... Jabo? Jabo, wait, are you from... Are you from a Discord I'm in? Jabo. I apologize, I don't know people, I don't remember names too well. Yep. Yeah. Oh! Ya yeah, boy! Ya yeah, boy! Okay. Awesome. I'm glad you're here. And I'm glad that someone else knows what this game is. Uh, anyways. We'll wash them away, lickety split, long live the Prophet Noah, long live General Hugo, long live Alistair! They're whipped up into a frenzy. I wonder how many of them I'll be able to bring back alive. It's at times like this I find myself questioning the Prophet's proclamations. Captain, is something wrong? No, it's nothing. Prepare to begin the mission. Everyone must stick together at all times inside the mine. Whatever happens under no circumstances should you go off alone. We'll leave a detachment here to guard the entrance. If the enemy should happen to reach this point, they must be stopped at all costs. That's all from me. Anything to add, Stock? Hmm. Do all of you know what Captain Rausch's top priority is? It's to bring you all back to Alistair alive. Don't act rashly. Just believe in your captain and give it your all. You do that, and Rausch and I won't let any of you die. Let's come home with a victory to show for it. Yeah! That's what ten grown men yelling sounds like, by the way. Go! Let the Prophet Noah guide you! Let the Prophet Noah guide us! Follow me, men! This is like one of my favorite parts of the game, is going into the mine, because you can just kick the crap out of everything, and it's just so exciting. Also, uh, I'm going to be swapping in the party. I'm going to be... I'm gonna be putting Rosh in since I haven't actually played with Rosh yet. Wait, how did Rosh get experience? I've literally not played with him yet in this in this profile. But okay. What's the matter, Rainy? Um, it's nothing. But come on, we need to find a deal with the enemy as quick as we can. You managed to actually find the final boss on the 3DS version, it's ridiculous. Oh, like the secret final boss? Or like the the main story final boss? Cause is, oh wait, no, you said the 3DS has an extra final boss. Your average Wow. Because that's what, like, what I had grinded my guys up to, to to beat the main story final boss the first time. I was, like, 61 to 63 or something. Or, like, just below what you said. I agree. Let's move on, but carefully. That reminds me. Supposedly there are goblins in this mine. We'll find ourselves facing them, too. Don't go and let... Don't go and let them get the best of you before we face the real enemy now. Oh, and kill! Your sword dancing is amazing, but it's not fit for combat. Don't get overconfident. Oh, oh understood. Wait, so like... You looked up a guide and it said it recommended 80 in... <laughs> oh, wow. Um... Oh, wrong button. I'm, I'm still not used to my keyboard controls just yet. Um... But, uh, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, there's like a secret boss in this game. Like, there's the main story final boss that I'm not gonna spoil, because I actually remember what it is, but I'm not- I don't want to spoil it. And... Then there was like the oh what we got grave truck 
Oh shit, okay. That's cool. Oh, grape puck. Grape truck! Well, this is the tag for now, it's not much point. They'll all be over and up over top of each other anyway. I don't know how strong these goblins are. Let's get let's, let's kick the pants out of them to begin with. Oh wow! Alright, that was a bit of a waste. Auto battle this shit. I was expecting them to have way more health than that. <laughs> okay. I'm glad that I've wasted my my mana a little bit. There's the secret boss, and there's another secret boss. Yeah, I know this. I know the secret boss. I I don't remember exactly what it is, but I remember watching a video of it when I was younger. And there's another secret boss to the 3DS content. Yeah, I heard the 3D 3DS had a couple of new features besides just being besides just having like the whole faster gameplay option and all that. Is this thing gonna come after me? No, it's not. But I'm gonna come after it. Uh. Oh, basilisk. Okay. I think we can attack these, or attack this guy, and then we'll use our, we'll use our grave truck move. Is that, <laughs> uh, and then I'll hit the basilisk just to make sure it's dead. Oh. Wow, literally none of that stuff died. I'm getting overconfident here. No, don't make me fall asleep. I have bad memories of falling asleep. Oh my god. Wow. Because, uh, when, for the first time, I. It's like a grinding area. Wow. We're asleep. And I don't have any spells or anything to wake them up. I swear! Do not! Okay, good. He's awake now. <laughs> oh no. We're off to a bad start. Alright, it's time to stop screwing around. We're gonna get the thunder on. Seems like you don't like the thunder. But yeah, it, um, for this emulation of, of the original, my plan is to try to finish like all of the all of the stuff in the book like there's like 200 and however many things in the book and I want to try and finish all of those please tell me this thing's gonna die thank you we're not doing too well I took a lot of damage in this fight please tell me this is over okay it's better to overkill things than to not. Right assault. Oh, he's a, just got all the directions on him now. Alright, we're gonna need some skills. This is why we have Marco here. Uh, oh! We can blow that up if we find a bomb. Is there a bomb somewhere? Ah! Yikes, is the ceiling caving in? This does seem like a pretty old mine! I'm also nervous about what the enemy's up to. Keep your eyes open. And of course, if the, the ceiling is dangerous, we obviously want to be blowing stuff up. Rosh is such a Chad late game. What does that mean? <laughs> I'm confused. What is a Chad? Yeah, I lost my original copy of this game, but I'm glad I was able to find an emulation of it.
Uh, I gotta get ready. There's probably something to fight here. Oh, no, there's not. Heavy mail. Oh, that sounds good. Oh, I would enjoy seeing what the stats of that are. Wait, does anyone else need it more? They all have the bronze mail. Oh, you have, like, the, the, the shitty one. You, you should get this. Oh, no, it has a stat. It's okay. Rosh is slow anyway. <laughs> Rosh is slow anyway. It doesn't matter. Honestly, I'm just excited someone else knows what this game is, because it's a really cool game. I remember having a lot of fun the first time I played it, except for the one part where I had to retrek through a bunch of things for, for something that I'm not going to spoil. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna left assault this guy. And we're gonna change turns. Then we're going to left assault both of these guys. Then do you have a push move? Oh, you have a left assault move. Uh, we're gonna change you with Rainy, so then she can use the push move on all three of these guys. And then we're going to have Rosh attack everyone that's over here. Uh, there's no way I can hit both of these guys, unfortunately. Unless... Oh! Oh no, that would be smart. Alright. Because we can go right assault, right? Oh wait, no, he'll just die. Okay, never mind. I'll take I'll take a little bit of uh, damage here then, it doesn't really matter. I guess I could have killed the one in the front row. Oh, two damage. Who literally who cares? You're all you're all going to kick his ass. Yay! Okay, uh... Oh, is that it? I thought there was a bit more, but okay. Oh, there's a sand creature. It can't break off the mana crystals yet. I don't remember when you get the ability to do that. I think you get the ability to do that... When you get the ability to break the trees. I can't remember though. I cannot remember. Why does the stream not say what it is I'm playing? Or does it? And it just hasn't updated on my end. Oh, it does. Okay, good. So, yeah, we can't push these worm guys. I'll push the goblin. I'll push the other goblin. We'll attack this, and we'll attack this. There we go. I think I, like, highly under underestimated the, like, pushing stuff as a kid. Because... I don't remember using it a ton. Oh, I should have had them attack the uh, separate targets. Alright, so Rosh is level 9, we're gonna- oh! Marco leveled up. Oh shit! They still get experience even though they're not in the fight? Really? Oh, so that would explain why Raj got a little bit of his own. I did not know that. I did not remember that from when I played. You found it in your average level of 60. 
and it's half. Yeah, that sounds about right. That sounds like like a, a good go-to number. Wow, there's a lot of stuff in here. I just want to see if there's any chests I can get. I'm probably going to do most of the combat in this area, just so I'm not underpowered or anything. Because there's, like, there's like a low-level challenge in this game. And someone beat the whole game, and they beat the final boss at like level 33 on everybody. And I was like, dude, how? That's like half of what my level was. Uh... Skill, we're gonna go with the right assault on this thing. Then we're gonna go with... I'm gonna attack this. Then we're gonna use Grave Tuck and hope that it kills everything. And then I'm gonna attack the goblin. Oh, I didn't kill the one in the back. That's okay. I still feel like I'm doing pretty well. Uh, yeah, it doesn't matter. Cause kill it the next turn anyway. Or just kill it now. And, oh, Stock gets a fire attack. Alright, now we're going to swap Marco in for Rainy for a little while. Assert some male dominance here. Although Rainy is, like, awesome. Rainy is, is really cool. You loaded your game and you accidentally fought the regular DS secret boss. I had never even found that boss. Like, I had a couple guesses about how to get to it, but I I think I've never figured it out. So over here. Wait, hang on, I think I heard someone at the door. One second. We, it's possible we might not be thinking of the same thing. I, I don't want to spoil anything right now, but I, I can talk to you about it later. Also, uh, my dad is here, so I'm just going to go help him bring in some groceries. So I'll be back in a few minutes. So sit tight.
Sorry about that. I am back. We are going to continue our conquest in the mines. I'm happy I'm getting better at timing the sword swings on, on the map. Because that is helpful. Um... Maybe we can kill this guy. Oh, nice! Knocked out almost the whole army. Come on! Yeah! Let's go! Uh, I think that's everything. Just give me a minute while I 
double checked for way too long. Yeah, that's it. Hey, Captain? Hmm? We've been all over this mine and haven't run into anything but goblins. Are Granark's forces really here? Yeah, I don't think there's been any mistake. Okay. What's with the sulking? You seemed to have a lot more pep when we left Alistair. Oh, uh, no, it's just, I feel a little let down. I thought transferring to the normal army would mean I'd see some action in a huge battle. Instead, I'm tromping around in a half-collapsed mine. I guess I never thought I'd be in a place like this again. Again? Have you been on a mission like this before? Rainy. Shh! I hear something. You do? I don't hear any... Whoa! What the... Ah! Damn, it's a cave-in. How can you be so calm? Get moving, don't just stand there! Oh no, we're trapped. Because... story. Damn, this won't be easy to move. Hey, are you guys okay? Yell if you can hear me! It's not that big of a rock. You could... Okay, I don't know about Rosh, but, like, there's a clear, noticeable gap here. The three of them... Or I, four of them, because there's Kiel's over here. They can, like, just slip on by. Yes, sir, I think we're all still here. Any injuries? A few of us were hurt a little, but nothing serious, sir. Captain, what should we do? Link up with the detachment. We left at the entrance. Understood. What about you, Captain? We'll keep going and search for the enemy. Once you meet up with the others, do something about this passage so we can all regroup later. Yes, sir. All right, guys, this way. I I thought I was dead this time for sure. This time? Rainy. N never mind. I just got a little freaked out. I think she talks about this later. I seem to remember something like this. Looks like we won't be able to get out for a while. Kill, are you okay? He's just dead. I'm fine, Captain. Good, glad to hear it. Now that this tunnel is blocked, the enemy can't pass through to Alistair's side anymore. And the tunnel from here leads straight ahead. There's only one place they could be, really. Where did this all come from, Kiel? You seem to really know your way around this place. I actually used to work in a mine. I've been to Alma Mine before, so I know more or less how it's laid out. That would explain it. I guess you can't judge by appearances. So you think if we go down this path, we'll find them? I'd say so, yes. I can't wait to see how vastly different my voices are in each stream. Kiel, I should warn you. It looks like we'll have to fight them off ourselves. I'd never order you to go first, of course. You'll be supporting us from the rear. This will be a pretty grim situation for your first real battle. Are you up for it? If you're sure not if you're not sure of yourself. I'll do it. Please let me help. I might not be as good as you or the sergeant, but I still do my best. Good, that's what I like to hear from my men. In that case, let us go on ahead. Yes, sir! Okay, I have like one stupid question. Is this the alternate history part of the story yet? It's not. It's not. We're still in the prologue. We're coming up on it soon, though. What else have I missed? There's something here where you, like, talk to Sonya. I got it the first time I played, so I figure I'll be able to find it again some other time during this playthrough. But then there's, like, a bunch of these little random things here. 
Are these side quests? Cause these might- Cause I think I remember a time when I saw this guy was alive. So we might be able to save him, but I'm not sure of that. We'll have to go take a look sometime. Anyways, for now I'm- I'm immediately concerned with getting the main story done. I'll fight that in a second. Oh, well. Hang on, I just want to check all the paths. I don't want to miss out anything. Oh, there's two different paths here, okay. Well, actually I'll skip this fight. I'll fight it on the way back, I guess, I don't know. Uh, yeah, still can't do that. I don't know when we get the ability to. 800 bucks! And a fight! Let's go! That middle one on the first node comes... It comes much later in the game? That's what I thought. That's what I thought. I remember getting it much later as well. Uh... Well, we're using up some MP here, but, uh... Right... Whoops, not right assault, left assault. I want to kill both of these things as soon as we can. What? I swear I hit the A. I'm not good with my, uh, these controls. Uh, Grave Tuck. Then, hopefully, the Basilisk will be dead so we can kill this Goblin Knight. Oh no! The one in the front is still alive. We got close. Oh, now he's gonna get healed. Ow. Uh, well, we can kill this guy, right? Please tell me we can kill this guy. Alright, good. Goal swing. Oh, it's like a... that one. Okay. Ah, attack Raj, because he has lots of defense. No! Doesn't matter. We have lots of MP and Marco and stock to heal us, and lots of healing items. So we're doing okay. Uh, yeah, everyone else is doing fine. I don't want to do too much combat, but I want to do enough combat so the fights aren't impossible. Because I would like to have some level of strategic thinking behind playing this game. Why is the X help on? Um... We'll, like, double up on the attacks, and then we will... I'll gull swing these guys. And then, I don't know, I guess I'll hit... one of the goblins. Well, I'm glad that at least my math on that worked out pretty well. No! Don't hit Marco, that's me! Okay. Looking good. And we can't put like, yeah, we can't take stock of the party. I was pretty sure of that. Uh, here, Marco, heal yourself up. Then, yeah, we're doing all right. I'd say we still have enough mana, enough MP. Save the game in a second. 
Oh, there's nothing else over here? Okay, I thought there might have been a secret. That's closed off. Alright, well, let's save, I guess, because why not? There's bombs. And there's a chest. Royal Jelly X4, okay. Sure. I'll back this up, because I don't want it to blow up. Oh, okay, we're gonna have to fight this. Because I want to get what's in that secret area. Uh, oh. Yikes! Okay. Uh... I'll hit this. Hit that. Do the... Gull swing move, and then hit this, and then hope that that works. Ooh, that was close. It was a close one. Hang on. Now there's dinner.
Okay. I'm sorry for all the uh, interruptions, guys. But, uh, that's what you get when you still live at home. I don't think there's anything else here other than that. And immediately upon saying that, I was incorrect. Well, let's go on. Let us go onward. I feel like this is where we're supposed to fight the army. Because I know there's an army fight here. That's... Look, there they are. They must have used those explosives to blast open the entrance and get in. The cave-in before was probably caused by the explosion. We used explosives on our side of the entrance first. But the cave-in happened much closer to this side. Whoa, so wait, I'm gonna yell. We almost got buried alive because of them? <laughs> hey, could you keep it down a little? They'll hear us. Oh, uh, sorry. Hmm, that's more than I expected. Maybe more than we can handle. Any ideas, Stock? Well, let's try those explosives. What? We do that and we'll be buried alive for sure. Actually, I think we'll be okay. Those explosives over there aren't as powerful. Not enough to be able to cause a collapse on this side anyway. But even a weaker explosive can be a very powerful as a weapon. And that's what we'll do. At the very least, it ought to thin them out. How do you make the most outlandish decisions with such a straight face? Then again, you've always been like that. It's almost as if you have a book that lets you go back on your incorrect decisions or something. Okay, we have our plan. I think I see why this guy is Stock's best friend now. We'll handle igniting the explosives. You guys finish off their manning soldiers. Alright. And I guess none of those soldiers over there are able to look this that far and see anyone. Ready, kill? Yes, sir! This will be my first time in a real fight. Are you scared? It's okay, that's natural. Psych yourself up by giving a big yell from the pit of your stomach! Now let's get going! Rah! We've reached the enemy's right flank. We can go any time. The rest is up to you, Rosh. The time's come. Gotta aim carefully. There! Eat that! Does he shoot missiles, or was that... I don't even know how that was. Ah! What the... Is that the Alistal army? Damn, the trick of the explosives. I don't believe this. Impossible. This can't be happening to the Selvan troop. How dare you do this to us, you Alistian Alist mongrels? Kill! Time to cut loose! Yes, sir! Ah! Oh, this is a cool fight uh, song as well. Wait, what? Is this all we have? Is this it? Because, like, I might be insane, but... But, like, you know. Uh, and then I guess... Marco will attack one of the middle guys if he doesn't finish him off. Oh, shit, they're strong. Okay. Bad idea. I didn't even hit stock that much. That's okay. Uh, well... Let us... Well, we can't kill the archer. Wait, who's going to be hitting us? These two guys. Maybe I can kill this guy. No, nope, I would have had to get a lucky strike. Oh my god. Marco, you're dying! And then Stock can hit... Really? Oh, it's the archers that are attacking next. Well, we can st start knocking them out. Attack this guy. Actually, how about we use Grave Tuck? Or, wait. Ah, yeah, because then these guys are probably both going to get knocked out. Good call there, I think. Rosh is just an impenetrable wall. He cannot be stopped. 
Uh, let's power wave this middle guy and then Marco can heal us. Yeah! Oh, I thought I was gonna get the. Yeah! Let's go! Oh, we're gonna kick them in the pants. We have one more uh, opportunity for golf swing. I'll heal Marco just to make sure he's okay. Yeah, Marco's very, like, support character. Support character-esque. And there we go, that's the end of the fight. That was pretty easy. Guard boost. Oh, and Rainy leveled up too. And Rainy learned Frost. Awesome. We did it! Well done, Kill. You did a great job back there. I definitely noticed as I was watching. Th thank you! But we'd never have pulled off such a bold plan without the two of you. Come on, stop. It's embarrassing. Captain! Ah, looks like the blockage has been taken care of. Yes, sir! Er, where's the enemy? We just took care of the last of them. Well done, everyone. Our first campaign couldn't have gone better. Now this is the only loose end left. My orders are to seal the entrance, but... Is there a problem with that? Not really. It just feels like a waste. I'm wondering if we could use Granork's plan here to get some amount of counteroffensive. Oh, I see. You're right. I wouldn't recommend it. They'll be watching us. To, they'll be watching for us to make a move like that. Yeah, you have to figure any plan simple enough for me to come up with. They thought of first. Besides, this path is too narrow. You couldn't march an entire core through it. Fair enough. We seal this place just as ordered. That should do it. But. Couldn't they just blast it open again? We'll post a guard here, but I doubt they'll... But I, I doubt they're dumb enough to try the same trick twice. Looks like someone was falling asleep there when they were looking at my text box. In which case, mission complete. Let's head back to Ellisville. Now that it's over, it feels like it all ended too soon. Did we really... Oh shit, I missed that. <laughs> Do we really get a... Hang on, I'm gonna go back and read it. Did we really just win our first victory? Oh, wow. I'm glad I waited for that. I know what you mean. But hey, we pulled it off without a single casualty. We should be celebrating. OG game problems. So what? They made a remake just to correct all the little things. You know, you're right. Our COs did all the heavy lifting. Nonsense, you all did well. I may have been hoping for the best, but inside I was bracing for the worst. I couldn't have asked for a better But don't go thinking you're hard and vest just yet. Once we get home, you'll be going through some harsh training. You won't get any breaks. I'll run you all so hard you'll wish you died today. So prepare yourselves now. Go to the shop and buy some weights to lose. He, he's joking, right? I don't think so. Oh. Sergeant Stock, thank you. What you said before the mission, I won't let any of you die. It meant a lot to me. Thank you very much. Sure. The event Duel in the Dark has been revised. Rosh has left your party. It's over already? 
It is. Mission accomplished. You two did well in there. Let's go back to Alistol. Oh, uh... I'm going to rest here a while longer. You go on ahead, Stock. Alright. There were some bumps along the way, but that went well. I think we can get through this even if we're not part of Speckett anymore. Probably. I was pretty surprised to see a whole brigade of new recruits, though. I nearly froze up because I had no idea how it turned out. That's not the only reason you froze up, is it, Rainy? I'm your boyfriend, I would know. I don't know, I always got a vibe that these two are together in some way. It's probably not, it's probably not canon, but I always, it always left me with that sort of impression when I was first playing. Huh? You don't like being in places like this, do you? The mercenary troop was wiped out of the mine, too. Oh no, the tragic backstory. I don't want to talk about it. Come on, we should get going, too. Like, 15 seconds after we said we'd take a rest. Whew, we made it. For a while there, there when the cave happened, I didn't know what was going to happen to us. Do you know if the original game has really dope artworks for certain parts of the story? Uh... Like... Are you talking about specific parts that happened later? Because... I'm going to say, I, I liked the, the, the art in this game, but also, I don't remember a ton of this game. I remember, like, the very beginning, like, the first chapter or so, then, like, the very end, and then some bits and pieces in the middle. I don't, there's a lot of this game that I don't remember. For a while there, when the cave happened, I didn't know what was going to happen to us. Yeah, in in uh in later parts, I don't know. We're gonna see. I'm I'm probably gonna play this whole game all the way to the end. Not this stream, cause like that would take forever. But at some point, yes, twice is enough for that particular experience. Thank you. Have you been in a cave before? <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> oh um, well yeah. The mercenary troop we used to be in was wiped out by one. We had taken a job from Alistair to guard a mine. A horde of monsters suddenly appeared and we were swept up in an, in an enormous melee. Then one of the monsters broke the support beam, holding up the ceiling. I don't suppose I need to tell the rest of it, do I? So you were buried alive? That would have been the end for most. I'm surprised you two survived. You and me both. I still can't believe we made it out. We were grateful to have lived, but Rainy and I had nowhere to go afterwards. You looked it up and it's exclusive to the remake... Send me some. All right, you feel free to do that. I want. I'm. I'm happy. I'll be happy to see it once we're at the certain parts. That's when Heist gave us a place in Speckend. So that's what happened. There's no predicting Heist. But there's something that still bothers me. This again, Rainy. What's this about? Mark still won't believe me, but I swear that monster came specifically to destroy that support beam. Mark and I were practically in a silver platter in its path, but it ignored us. Oh, we're, we're... Oh, yeah, to eat. Mark thinks I'm just imagining it, mind you. Because if that were true, it would mean monsters have, sem have some semblance of intelligence, and one causing its own death through a cave -in would indicate the opposite. How do you reconcile that? How should I know? It must have had its reasons. As I keep saying, it's all in your head. It's just your imagination, Rainy, and if it isn't, it all, all it means is that we were unlucky. Mm. <sighs> and round and round we go. I'm telling you, it was making a beeline for that support beam. Don't get too worked up over it. It's in the past. And it's not in my book, so there's nothing I can do about it. Putting it out of your mind is the best way to get beyond it. I agree, I agree completely. Put it out of your mind, or, you know, whip up your white magical book that lets you go fix all your mistakes. Alright, I get it, I get it. It's true. Whatever we think doesn't change what happened. Okay, that's enough about all that. Let's get going. You returned stock. Oh, yeah, the- <clears throat> You returned stock. You have begun walking the path of a soldier. It will not be an easy journey, but should you falter, look around you. 
There will always be people around you to lend their support. Now let us add a new chapter to the White Chronicle. By advancing the story, yeah, we already know. Select continue. <laughs> I don't know. I want to play that uh, that uh, that little fight against all the dudes again. That was very vital to the story. Alternate history chapter one: adversity. Ooh, it's General Hugo and Mr. Rawl. Oh yay, we're back in Granor Castle. Please tell me this isn't the same scene that we saw before. Granor Palace, Audience Hall. Terribly sorry for my tardiness. I hope you can con you can forgive me as well, General Diaz. Perish the thought, Count Selvin. I've only just arrived myself. Ah, very good. So then, Queen Protea. What is it you have summoned us to do for you today? What do you think? Ever since the Alistellians took the Sand Fortress back, our front frontline has been receding. And now I hear that the surprise attack plan on Alma Mine has failed as well. You will make an accounting of yourselves for this. Indeed we will, Your Majesty, and my sorrow over this failure is heartfelt. An operation is already underway to recapture the Sand Fortress, be assured of that. We owe much to Count Selvin's corps for keeping the enemy occupied at Alma Mine. Think of it as mere bait for the real prize of the Sand Fortress, and it's well worth the sacrifice. If you say so, then I won't press the subject. But if you fail to take back the fortress after all this, I'm keenly aware of the consequences. That is all. You are excused. Yes, Your Majesty. By your leave. I'm surprised that I was able to give, give the two of them different voices and just not do the same thing. So, what was on Her Majesty's official schedule of events today? Will she be spectating as the gladiators each other, tear each other limb from limb for her amusement, or will she be attending services to worship the young boys in the choir? What a busy life our queen leads. Leave it be. It suits a wench like her. Pitiful. Just shameful. Oh, they don't like her. <laughs> I, I, I don't remember the specifics of the Grand Arc part of the story, but yeah. I have to thank you I, I have to thank you for speaking on my behalf in there, Diaz. I'd as soon not become the latest target on the pin the tail and the scapegoat for that witch. Think nothing of it, but you should know that our preparations for the operation at Alma Mine were quite thorough. Yet Alice still saw through the ruse immediately and mounted a quick counteroffensive. It's that accursed watchdog. Ice, you mean? It's true that he has an unusually keen nose. He roots out all of our schemes, one after the other. It's to the point where I wonder if he doesn't know the plans beforehand. But if we change our perspective slightly, he may become another tool in our arsenal. What are you hinting at? I can't say this too loudly, but there's a man above Heiss. So we should be able to take similar measures. Well? Tell me, Selvin, how far would you be willing to take this? We've been taking risks ever since we raised that commoner to a queen on our duty alone. I am not saying that this can be done swiftly, but having broached the possibility to you, I'd like to hear your thoughts. I see, I have no objection. But I'm a warrior at heart, and I'd like to apply our own skills to the situation a bit more. While true that our army is at a disadvantage, I'll just decide also over each of them. There are times when their supply route is ungodly. How characteristic of you. All I wanted was, for the moment was your consent. I've already made a move. If we take the Sand Fortress, they'll woefully be un they'll be woefully undersupplied. The thaw machines of their main force are expensive and high maintenance. With their supply lines cut, they're as good as annihilated. I see. And then I'll make the necessary negotiations before the next meeting. I'll be counting on it. Count on me all you need. Bending the assembly to our will is my job. Yours is to go out and oversee fruitful operations. And all of it... for our kingdom. That captain sure is an interesting guy. You're right, you don't find people of his caliber that often in Alistair. And man, compared to Stock, the difference is night and day. 
It's hard to believe the two of them could end up be best friends. There isn't much to it. It's just so hap it just so happened that we served with each other in the same brigade. So you were buddies. More like the two of you were bounded by counting on each other to stay alive. Or bonded, sorry. That's the feeling I get anyway. Could just be me. I gotta admit, I'm a little jealous. I've always wanted to have that kind of uh camaraderie. You you think we could ever work in that level stock? Yeah. Now date me. Dump that that dumbass Marco. Because he does less damage than I do. And throughout the entirety of the adventure, he, he will be lower level than me. Hey, it's Kill! There you are! Dr. Sonya is asking for Sergeant Stock to report to medical. I'm to bring you. Sonya's calling me? Right, follow me, Sergeant. I promised Sonya I'd return with you. Oh yeah, that's right. No, Rainy has to do with Marco. Sock stalking Sonya out of there. Oh really? You made a promise with a beautiful doctor, eh? I didn't know you had it in you, Kiel. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh no, I, I'm just... well... Please don't make fun of me. <laughs> Alright, I'll go see what she needs. Oh, and Sergeant! Would you happen to have any spare time coming up? I'd really like to improve with my sword by, I, by training under someone with your skill. I'm confident in my form for ceremonies, but when it comes to actual combat... Alright, I'll see if I can make some time for you. Yes, sir! Thank you, sir! La 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 la! A bond forged by trust, eh? Well, color me curious. Then why don't we go too? Good point, let's go! Apparently, after the boss that you haven't beaten yet, there's a new game plus with another boss that requires all level 99 plus. Isn't 99 the max level or or 100? Can you go past 100 this game? I don't know. I never grinded out all the levels. I was I was doing it at some point, and then I learned that you unlock all the moves at level 60, so I stopped after like level 75. Uh, let's save the game. Or actually, let's go buy some weapons, and then let's save the game. Because we got some dough to spend now. Uh, Silver Edge, Blitz, EP. That's a lot of magic. I think this is a good sword for Marco, and this is a good sword for Stock. This would be a good weapon for Rainy, and this would be more for Rosh. So yeah, let's go buy some, buy them some weapons for now. Maybe NG Plus changes that. Yeah, you never know. Uh, so we're just gonna swap to Marco, and it'll lower his attack slightly, but it'll great, greatly boost his magic. Wait. Does healing... does the effect of healing depend on magic? Cause like, if it doesn't, I'm not sure then. I'm definitely gonna get this for stock, so I'll buy this now. Yeah, just like, here's a hammer watch. And we'll buy this for Rainy, cause she definitely uses magic. Oh, but it'll decrease the, uh... I'll buy this for her then, for now. I, I honestly don't know. You think it's set? I think it's set too, because I've noticed the healing always heals for like 90 on the spot when outside of combat. Hey, we can, we can sell this stuff. So, in that case, I think I'll buy this for... Wait. That's not going to do hardly anything for him. Uh... Dagger. 
a dagger? Oh yeah, because there's that other character that uses a dagger. Ooh, we can get silver mail. And we can get one of them for everyone. Be right back, gotta help someone with physics. Alright. You go do that. Yeah, you get better healing skills later in the game. That, that's what I thought, because I remember that the, um... There's like, the normal heal does 90, the greater heal does 150, and then the, the really big heal does like 400 or something. I'll get Marco a, uh, a ring. I'll get him the seed ring. Get it for stock as well, because stock's going to be here like all the time. There we go, now we're broke. And I'm just going to take some time to eat real quick. I am trying not to take too long. What are we doing again? We're gonna go find... Oh, we don't know. Well, let's go exploring. Kiel is gonna be somewhere, isn't he? Oh yeah, Sonya. We have to go talk to Sonya. Ah, that's right. I, I was paying attention. Uh, she's in this one, right? Hey! I remembered. Oh, I'm sorry it took me so long. You're finally here. Thank you, Kel. Oh, he she he is a crush. Oh, oh oh no need to thank me. I'd um oh, I'd do anything for you, ma'am. <laughs> ma'am? Stock, you shouldn't make your men have to go on wild goose <clears throat> sorry. Stock, you shouldn't make your men have to go on wild goose chases to find you. Now right this way, please. You'll listen to what the doctor says, won't you, Sergeant Stock? If you give her too much trouble, I'll have to tell Captain Ross. <laughs> Why would you bring up Ross here? Oh, um, well, haha, uh -huh, without you, with your permission, please excuse me. It 
It seems they've warmed up to you. Now kiss me like there's no tomorrow. <laughs> You're the quiet type, so I was worried they'd get the wrong impression of you. You needed me for something? I called you here so I could check up on those wounds you sustained last time. There's no need to worry, they've more or less healed. They wouldn't employ doctors if the soldiers could make that decision for themselves. Now take off your <laughs> Now take off your clothes and let's see those wounds. Wink wink. Okay, all done. It seems you were right, and they have indeed healed. But I still must insist that you don't push yourself too hard. Hey, it's Rosh, and his really cool left arm. Ah, Sock, I've been looking for you. Yeah, damn, I, I know, right? Damn, why I gotta fade to black like that? You, you could have it not do that, and just have this game be T for team. A little bit of pixelated... Nudity. <laughs> it's rated T, we can see pixel- Wait, is this game rated T? Is this game actually rated T? I need to see this now. Radiant Historia Rating. It's rated E10+. Plus. Oh, the remake is rated, rated T. Okay. Oh, maybe things get interesting. Don't spoil anything, because I, I might actually play the remake after this. You might have to get in line. Huh? Well, anyway. They're planning a strike. Lieutenant General Rawl wants us in his office immediately. See, now this is the part of the game where I have, like, no idea. I, I don't remember this part happening at all. Let me read off the box warnings, but I won't spoil. Alright, sounds good. Ever since the operation at the mine, the army is getting deployed more frequently. Well, we are short on men, but look on the bright side. They've got the good sense to send us in, send us in the brigade of fresh recruits. That's what concerns me. You two need to look out for yourselves better than you do. Well, we'll get around to that. Stock, can you meet me in Lieutenant General's office? I need to have a quick word with Sonya. Fantasy, violence, language, suggestive themes, use of alcohol. Well, there's fantasy, violence, and a little bit of language in this game. Suggestive themes, yeah, okay, maybe not, maybe not here. And use of alcohol, I don't remember that being a thing either. Like, there's a bar, but you don't ever have anyone get, like, drunk off it. Like, there's people enjoying themselves, so they're not like, Oh, I'm so drunk. Be sure to drink lots of alcohol, children, because that's a good message to be portraying. How's Stock doing? He's fine. So why did you ask me to give him a checkup? Is there a big mission coming up? Under the circumstances, all the missions are big. And he's the type who would never speak up. He works through it all by himself. That's why he's dangerous. Someone needs to look after him. But if you say he's fine, then that's one less burden on my shoulders. Come on, don't give me that look. No matter the mission, I'm gonna make it back. And Stock will too. I know you will. Because I'd never forgive either of you if you died and left me behind. Whoa, easy tiger. Stop joking around, I'm serious. Now kiss me, because I'm dating both of you. I know, I know. I just trust that we'll stay safe and wait for us to come back. Anyway, I better get going. Not to spoil, but the remake has a whole alternate world story, a Sutton tree. Ooh. Yeah, I, I, I had read online a little bit about because I didn't even know there was a remake until, like, yesterday. And I had read a little bit online about it, and... Uh... I had, I had seen that in addition to, like, there being, like, an easy mode and some... some fixes so that you don't have to do tons of repeat combat and repeat story, that they also added some extra story stuff on the side. 
So if that's the case, I actually think it would be worth it to try and find a 3DS emulator as well to play this, to play the remake. A new mission, huh? I thought I told you to go on ahead. Even if I had, I wouldn't have been able to hold a conversation with him until you showed up. <laughs> I suppose that's true. The Lieutenant General talks a lot, but I can't imagine the two of you alone in a room. Oh, come on. I've had enough dirty looks for one day. Let's go together. The Lieutenant General's office is the third floor to the right. Because you'd clearly have no way of knowing that without me telling you. Reporting in, General. run really slowly but um joker and the discord server helped me figure it out how to get rid of the stuff so now i'm actually able to run it pretty well let's get back to the mission at hand so with specific regard to your brigade first you'll pass through lazarus hills to reach judgment Cliff. there you will rendezvous with an informant who will have your next set of orders so our true destination will not even be known to us. Ever since the enemy breached out my mind, the brass has been on edge about spies. For operations across the border, they don't want the specifics floating around. Understood. We'll prepare the men as soon as possible. Rush. Yes, sir? Well, how should I put this? Make sure that you're keenly aware of your actions from now on. Sir? Why the sudden concern? Well, it's General Hugo. It bothers me that he took the trouble to come see I only say this because it's you, but did you know he used to be a politician? I know that his duty to convey the Prophet's word in the war are what made him a general. Well, consider this simply the ramblings and all of an older soldier. But do you know how the citizens are referring to you now? The young lines of Alistair? There was another who earned that kind of praise from the public. Even to this day, she is well liked amongst the soldiers. You mean Field Marshal Viola, the Valkyrie? Her charisma is well beyond ours. She is truly Alistair's goddess of victory. But I believe you are well aware of where this Valkyrie currently is and what she's doing. 
or to be blunt, where she was put because she was garnering more favor than General Hugo. She's been transferred to the Sand Fortress for a long time now. You might say she was gotten rid of. But there's something I don't understand. Wasn't it General Hugo himself who promoted her field marshal? Ah, but that's where you see Hugo shine as a politician. By promoting her, he tied her down to the front lines of the Sand Fortress, thereby removing her from the castle and securing his own fame. Yikes. I do remember Hugo is kind of a shady guy. I do remember that. If you ask me, the war is on its last legs. What's more, you two are working hard to make that a reality. That is why I have this advice for the two of you. Fight well, but try to keep the post-war in perspective. The end of a war is never truly the end, the beginning of something else. I believe that will be the time for you both to demonstrate your true strength. Ah, but I shouldn't speak in riddles, I'll say it to you plainly. You two have endless potential. You have unlimited you have unlimited mana for the next four minutes of your playtime. Did anyone else get that subtle reference? That that subtle non-subtle reference? Please be careful that he doesn't crush that potential. You give me too much credit. I'm really not that impressive. I'm just rambling, remember? Anyway, coming back safely is your first task. That's all I need to tell you. Get ready to move out immediately. Understood. Our brigade will pass through Lasville Hills and advance the Judgment Cliff. Stock will need to get ready. Let's gather the men. If you didn't buy me a new weapon, I'm gonna kill you. The rendezvous point is set. Each squad leader will escort their men to Judgment Cliff. Those hills are infested with monsters, so be prepared for anything. All mobilized squads move out. Good luck, you guys. Long live Alistair! Kill! Why the hell aren't you wearing a uniform? Oh, I guess he's not going with them. Yes, Captain! You're with us. I'll make sure you get some training in along the way. The thank you, sir! You guys ready to go? Uh... Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Alright, let's get this show on the road. Alright. I guess I'll just keep playing the alternate history until I get stuck, because I have no idea when that'll happen. We are now hitting the part of the game where I have very little memory of it. There's no other, like, equipment I can give anyone, is there? Iron Spear, Custom Lance... Oh, we have a bunch of armor we can sell. Uh, where's the... here. We can sell stuff. Wait, Healing Herb, 100 HP, all allies. Oh, that's cool. Uh, I definitely want to get rid of that. We can... I think we can dump all of these. That way we can have a little bit of spending money. I'm not too worried about Rosh's speed, because if he's an unstoppable wall, that is what is most important. Uh, well, I guess we're going here, because I can't go anywhere else. Judgment Cliff is to the southwest. We can afford a steady pace, though. No need to be the first ones there. Just make sure you keep up with us, Kale. Yes, sir! Okay. Okay there, pal. I'm gonna try and strike him when I can. There we go. It's a new enemy, so let's go. Let's 
Searcher and a Ripper. Oh, delightful. My favorite. Uh... Oh, I wasn't expecting them to have that little health. Ow! They hit pretty hard, though. Oh, we definitely want this guy dead, then. Ah, oh, we didn't have to do that. Oh, well. Oh fuck, that's not what I wanted to do! I made a mistake. Yikes, that's not what I wanted to do! I wanted to attack him, I didn't know it would stay unchanged. I should have just hit auto battle. That was really stupid. That was very stupid of me. How many of these do we have? We're probably going to get a lot of them, but I'll try and keep it to the MP for now. Uh, how's Rosh looking? Let's use Rosh for now, because Rosh is really good. Okay! Just calm your shit there, pal. I'll kill him because we want to probably blow up that those rocks for something. Uh Oh yeah, no, she can attack the middle guy. Then Rosh can do this... this thing. And then Rainy can attack the front guy. Yeah! Let's go! There we go. Is there a bomb up there? There's a treasure chest. There's a bomb up here. 
but you don't take it with you, though. What? Wait, what? There was just an item there, I didn't even see it. Well, how do I get past that? There's no bomb! Okay. Whatever, I guess. Okay. Oh, the bridge is safe. The infamous Comeback Later Stones. Why would he ever... Alright, I, I don't even know. He's dead. We suffered one damage that fight. Very scary. Oh! Oh, I'm gonna get back attacked. Uh-oh. Oh my god, we're not in a good spot. I really want this guy in the back to die. Oh, okay. Looks like that was a little unnecessary. Have I done the bridge where the bridge choice where Marco and Rainy are in danger? The bridge choice where Marco and Rainy are in danger. You mean where they die? Because, yeah, that happened. That was one of the first things, and it happened. Yeah, that happened at the very beginning. Meet with jud a Judgment Cliff. I'm trying to remember where that is. I guess I'll keep fighting, because we're going to need some resources. We're going to need some EXP and some money. Uh... I don't want to waste too much mana. But at the same time, I want these guys to die. Uh, I'll attack this. And we can use Gull Swing and hit this entire column. And we can hit the... Bush Lizard. Nice. You have DM'd art. I will look at the art. 
Have you DM'd it here? Did you? You probably DM'd it on Discord. I'll look at that. I'll look at it uh, after the stream. Is that it? I I think that's it. Ooh, a merchant. What have you got, Mr. Merchant? Uh, I think I'll stock up on some of these. Anti-curse. Anti-sleep. Anti- Stone is stupid, so I'll get an extra one of those. I don't really need the sleeper poison wing. Uh, I seriously have no idea where I'm going. Judgment Cliff, but at the same time, where is that? I don't think it's over here. Oh no, wait, don't we go down here? I think we have to go down here. This guy's still gonna be dead, isn't he? Oh yeah, there is no guy in here. That's in the other tiny secret hole. Yikes. That's a lot of monsters. What are we chained with stock. Then he uses left on this guy. Then Rainy can use thunder on the guy in the back. Then Rosh can use this move on the middle row. And then Rainy can kill the guy in the back. Or not. Wow, that was really bad. You can power up other enemies? Oh, that's bad. That's really bad. Who's attacking next? Okay. Oh boy. Air Assault, and Marco leveled up. Let's put Marco in for Rainy, and also heal Rainy a bit. Yay! I got to the right spot. Looks like we made it without incident. Are we the first ones? We've only just arrived, so don't let your guard down. Still, it should be okay to take a breather. We can't do anything without the others, after all. There they are. Lieutenant Stock, I'm Heist Messenger. Heist the Messenger. Ah, I thought I'd managed to blend into the army quite well. Impressive. I suppose men like us have a sixth sense for our own kind. Oh yeah, I forgot about my hard copy of the game came with an official artwork artwork book? That's really awesome. What's with the dirty look? Didn't anyone tell you not to kill the messenger? I don't want any trouble. State your business. I have a message from Heiss. It's about it's about time you came back. Playtime's over. If you don't, you'll suffer the same fate as that brigade. That is all. Is he threatening me? 
That's for you to figure out. Like I said, I'm just the messenger, and I'm impartial. Then I'd like to deliver a message to Heiss. Consider the offer declined. Abandoning this brigade is the furthest thing from my mind right now. Get that message to Heiss and do it fast. Wait, I have one more duty to perform here. I'm to tell your unit the details concerning the next leg of the mission. Major Rosh, I have the orders from headquarters regarding your final destination. You must be the informant that Lieutenant General Rawl spoke of. Your destination is the Sand Fortress. Upon arrival, you are to join ranks of Viola's unit under her command. In the front lines of the Valkyries, so were her reinforcements. If you'll excuse me. Stock, could I borrow you for a moment? Seems our destination is the Sand Fortress. Sorry, I had an ice cream cone down here, and I forgot about it. It's melting now. Oh man, I'm practically like drinking it. Seems our destination is Sand Fortress. I heard. The same fortress we took back from Grand Rock the other day, right? That's correct. It's probably the most been the most embattled region of the whole war. <clears throat> but I don't understand. If they're sending reinforcements, our numbers hardly qualify. What could they be thinking by sending in such a small number? Something wrong, Stock? No, it's nothing. I'm going to inform the men. I just need to wait for all of them to get here. Hey, Stock, are we sure we should just let that guy go? I don't know why, but I got not feeling good. Okay, hang on. I'm gonna take a second here. Okay. Fantastic. I promise that is the last eating break of the stream. I don't know why, but I got not feeling about him. I thought she might say that. I got the same feeling. It seems we're all in agreement. It looked like he was heading for Judgment Cliff. Alright, let's tail him. is. These footprints are fresh. Looks like he's been here. 
He must be heading north. Stock, be careful. I've got a bad feeling about this. Yeah, something was off about him. You guys should keep your guard up, too. Get him! <laughs> Before the other guy runs into me. There we go. Oh my god. That's a big enemy. Now we just have the crap. Oh my god, we do like no damage to this thing. Alright. Wait, it's a cactus crab though, right? So if we use fire on it, shouldn't that help? What about if we use frost? I'll try fire and I'll try frost. And then Marco can just hit it. Nothing? We got nothing on this thing. Alright, I'm gonna weakness scan this thing, and then I'll let the enemy go next. Because I have no idea what to do here. Oh, weakness is poison. Okay. Well, luckily we have a poison attack. Uh... We don't have much else. <laughs> I like, I love that. I love that. E I love emotes like that. Uh, shoot. I guess we'll just hit it. I don't know. We do heals after the, after the fight, so yeah, why not? Do poison break twice. But, all oh, oh, it's weak to poison as in the status poison. Okay, I understand. Wow, that was a bit of an awkward fight. Oh, I got caught on the crystal. Okay. Uh... Ah! I, I want to hold off on the heal a little bit more. I think we'll be- I think we'll be safe for now. Is this just gonna be the crab again? And a dinosaur thing? I'll poison break this. Hang on, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna push salt this guy. Then I will poison break, I guess both of them. And then we can just hit them both. Nice. Now the crab is just dead. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Awesome. I'll also, uh, you know what, I'll use some uh, mana recovery items a little bit. Just because I'm not sure if we're ever, uh, when we're going to get our next refill. So just to keep us topped up a little. And I'll do most of the combat we come across, but I, because I don't want to be like grinding in an area. So that's why I'm doing most of the combat we naturally come across. Uh, oh. Okay. I'm gonna attack this, then we'll get Rainy to do... Actually, hang on. I will push Assault, the Crab. Then we'll Poison Break, the Crab. And then me and Marco can attack this thing, and hopefully that's enough to take it out. You've got to be kidding me. Oh my god. Marco, no! Okay, um... Yeah, we'll let Marco heal himself, so we'll take out this guy, we will take out this guy, and we will let Marco heal himself so he does not die. And you are dead. There's nothing else here, right? I don't think so. Oh, there we go. We found him. That man had sturdy. Oh, the crab? How, how he had the one health left? Oh no, you mean the, you mean the, yeah, you, you mean the, uh, the guy in the front. The crab also has the, um, has the ability to injure the poison though. I knew you'd come. I've been waiting for you. What is high scheming? I've got no reason to tell you. You guys wouldn't be thinking of trying to kill me here, would you? If you give it to us straight, we won't harm a hair on your head. Well, I'm glad things turned out this way. Honestly, I wasn't allowed to make the first move. You intrigue me, Stock. You're the best we've got in Speckend, and Heist favors you. We're both members. Why should you be the one who gets all the special treatments? Maybe you should ask Heist for yourself. What, you think you'd actually tell me? Besides, this way I get to test out your skill firsthand. If you end up dead, I'll report that your ability had its limits after all. I think this is the one-man fight. Yeah, th this is the one-man fight that I remember being hard. Like, not super duper hard, but noticeably hard. Because screw this guy. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll just hit him. Use a little bit of frost on him. Wow, he has a lot of health. Ow. Uh. Air assault, because that lets us chain together a combo. No, Marco. Uh, what does recovery do? Cures status ailments. I like the sound of that. Then we'll let Rainy do her magic, and then we'll let Marco heal himself because honestly, his health's getting a little bit low. Thank you.
Uh, guard boost, magic boost. Oh, that can help Rainy out. See how much it helps her. Oh shit! Okay, yeah, that's good. Oh, the heal field? You you didn't know if it was possible to push him? Well, as soon as he put... When I first played this fight, as soon as he put it down, I'm like, Oh, okay, I can't let him stay there. Uh, anyways, I think we're doing okay. Let's just, uh, keep the pressure on. Keep hitting him with, uh, with our boosted magic. Actually, here, here's an idea. Um... Because Stock has a magic attack as well. And it seems to be worth it, since it, like, almost doubles the damage to us. And then... Marco can heal Rainy. Marco Polo. I wish I could name them, because I totally named them that. Oh, screw you, buddy! You're not staying there. You are not staying there. Stone Eye. Oh, it failed! Okay, I was like, oh shit, is she petrified? But no, actually, she's not. I think we got him. I think he's down. I'm gonna overkill him just to make sure. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Wow. That experience reward is not at all proportional to how hard that was. <laughs> I see. I think I see why he keeps you around. As long as you are, your little brigade, your little brigade will always be in danger. Explain yourself. Didn't I tell you Heist wants to keep you under his thumb? But Speckend is in no position to overturn a personal request from Lieutenant General Raw himself. That's why when the time is right, Major Rosh is going to take a little spill. If he goes down now that you've been pulled from the Speckend, he'll give Heist the advantage. <laughs> You'd best come back in your own accord if you don't want things to get messy. Keep going. Well, this scheme has yet another major player. Someone who doesn't want to see Rosh getting too big for his britches. You must know who I'm referring to. Anything else? That's all I know. Now, do you understand the danger of supporting Rosh? If you want to survive, heed my advice. It's for your own... You have... <coughs> You've said enough. I have no further use for you. I haven't. I, I, I feel like that that's Heist because it's his messenger. Be gone. But I just want to give him this deep voice. <clears throat> ah. What is this? I'm being drained. Ah. 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 And he turns into sand. N no way! What just... He turned into sand. You mean like that sand plague thing? I never imagined you could really just turn into sand. What should we do? Shouldn't we report this? This isn't something we want spreading amongst the new men. I'll tell Rosh when it's time. I need you two to stay quiet about this. And don't let your guard down. We need to be cautious of our surroundings at all times. You're right. Be careful, our opponent is more likely, more than likely, poised to strike already. It's what we do until he makes his move that will make all the difference.
And that's all I have to say. This will be a tough fight, but we fight for the glory of Alistol. I expect only the best. Once your unit is prepared, depart for the Sand Fortress. Hey, where have you guys been? We were just about ready to move out. Rosh, we need to talk. Yeah? What's this about? Lieutenant General Rawls' concerns weren't far off the mark. His concerns? Wait, don't tell me! Our destination is the Sand Fortress, and that's not a coincidence. Shh, no wonder they're sending in such low numbers. But we can't just defy our orders. We still have to go to the Sand Fortress. On top of that, we'll be fighting alongside Field Marshal Viola on the front lines. Wouldn't you agree that at least that part is in Alistair's best interests? You're right, I thought you might say that. Well, now that we know what's going on behind the curtain, we won't fall for it as easily. Thanks, my friend. Alright, let's head up north through Judgment Cliff. The Sand Fortress is a stone's throw away if we take that route. Yes, Captain! The only problem is heist. What kind of trap does he have planned for us? His ass getting snapped. Oh, the guy with the sand. Uh, Rainy's like dying with ma for mana problems. So I think we're gonna put Rosh in her in her spot for now. Of course, I have lots of mana items and lots of money to buy more, but I also don't want to be running too low on 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 supplies here. Oh, do you mean to tell me I can just run all the way over here? Okay. I'm down. Oh, hang on. I want to look for treasure. Is there treasure? Just give me a moment while I take way too long to probably not find it. There's the mana crystal again, and but I can't um I can't get those yet. I need another ability. Uh, I guess there's nothing here. I figured they would have hid something out there. So this is the sand fortress. Something wrong? You look a little disappointed. Well, I guess I was expecting something grander. This is the frontline fortress, after all. It's just not what I imagined. Wouldn't you agree, Sergeant? Um, that's Lieutenant to you. The Sergeant? Lieutenant Stock! Come on, Stock. I know you're not a people person, but you can at least respond to questions. What are you talking about? Is something wrong, Sergeant? You seem especially tense. Don't let it get to you, Kael. This is just standard stock. Really? But ever since we passed through Judgment Cliff, he's been especially an edge. Don't let your imagination get the better of you, Kael. Stock's not being curt on purpose. No hard feelings, okay? You know, he's just shy. I understand. He usually doesn't seem to care about anyone. But when there's danger, it's always the sergeant who's first to the rescue. Sounds like you have a fan, Stock. Anyway, we should head inside. According to Viola has been revised. The amount of times you got lost walking around that fortress is higher than you'd like to admit. I do remember this place was was very likely for me getting lost as well. Because all the floors look so similar. Well, first thing we need to do is report our arrival. Excuse me, can I ask you something, soldier? Yes, what is it? I'm Major Rosh, and I've just arrived with the reinforcement brigade. Could you point me in the direction of Field Marshal Viola's quarters? Major, the Field Marshal has no personal quarters here. Everyone sleeps and eats together regardless of rank. Those are the rules. Is that so? Well, can you tell me where I can find the Field Marshal then? I believe she's on this floor just a little further down. I'll ask it. I'll escort you. Please follow me.
She's in here. Please excuse me, Major. <coughs> hey! Excuse me, are you the Field Marshal Viola? Indeed I am. And you are? Major Ross, sir. I'm the captain of the Reinforcement Brigade sent to your command. I've come to report that we've arrived. I see. Good timing. You're about to begin a strategy meeting. I hate to impose on you since you've only just arrived, but you should probably sit in. We've received intel that a large Granorg detachment is headed this way. Granorg understood. Sorry, Stock. Could you guys check up on the men? As soon as the meeting is over, I'll catch up with you. Understood. Leave it to us. Let's go, Kiel. Sorry about all this. I'll greet them officially as soon as I can as well. As soon as I can as well, okay. I was reading that right. Are you telling me he, he joined my party just to have no combat and then leave? What a guy. Sergeant, we are currently asking all squad leaders to check in with status updates. Captain Rosh is in a strategy meeting with Field Marshal Viola and her advisors. A strategy meeting the moment we arrive? This really is the front line, isn't it? That's right, you got you should all get rest while you can. A room has been prepared on the second floor. All units are on standby until further orders. Understood. So that was Field Marshal Viola. I've heard the rumors, but she was truly beautiful. No wonder they call her the Valkyrie. Huh? I thought you were s <laughs> Oh shit. Huh? I thought you were smitten with Dr. Sun. Uh, I didn't mean it like that. Huh, well, then you can ex can you explain how it's different? It's, well, I look up to Field Marshal Viola. I've heard about her distinguished military career ever since I was young. So she's like a hero that I look up to. Look up to, eh? I guess that's true. I got the same vibe from everyone who talks about her. Well, of course. People often speak of the Field Marshal's charisma, especially compared to General Hugo. That's why the rumor is that General Hugo kind of banished Viola to this fortress. Well, yeah, that's not really a big secret at this point. It's alright, all that matters is that the Field Marshal is alive and well. She's still the Valkyrie and she'll keep winning everyone's trust, I'm sure. But I must admit, I do look up to someone else a little bit more than her. Huh? Well, if they can surpass Field Marshal Viola, that's really an accomplishment. Who would that be by chance? Sergeant Stock! Oh wow, he actually said it! Haha, <laughs> you really are the fan favorite, Stock. Knock it off. No good would come from following my example. That's not true. Ever since Captain Rush told me about you, I've really looked up to you. I've always wanted to become more like you. Anyway, I'm sure Rosh's meeting is just about over. Let's go see if we've got any new orders. Oh shit, it's a node? It must be important. Okay, I'm gonna go- if it will let me, I'm gonna go back out and see if I can find a- ooh, we got a merchant guy here? In front line. Oh shit, he sells things! He sells- Wow, that is one powerful sword for magic. Same thing for uh, that for the spear. I could get some of these charms, I suppose. I'll get her the magic one because she uses magic a lot. And then I'll get Marco the, uh, a horn one. Or no, not a horn, a, f a fang. I want to make sure everyone's ready to go for if we have to fight. 
Yeah, I'm almost certain there's nothing out here, but I don't know. I feel like this is going to be pointless, but yeah, it looks like it's just that mana crystal. Doesn't look like there's anything else. Well, in that case, let's explore the fortress and try not to get lost. Because there are chests in the fortress, from what I can remember. I I, I don't know where, but there'll there'll be somewhere, hopefully. What is the point of this? What is the actual point? Uh, okay. I won't ask. I'll open those doors in a sec. Yeah, no, there really is nothing here. Alright. Fireplace. And I guess we talked to Rosh. So I'll do that soon. Is this is this guy uh, just another merchant? Oh, mana crystals for 5,000. That's a lot. That's a lot of money. Oh my god, this place is huge! Hey, wait. Can't he, um... He can teach us the sword dancing now, can't he? Ah, Sergeant Stock, are you on patrol? Thanks for your hard work. Are you training? Yes, right now I'm only good at sword dancing, and that isn't good in a fight. I need to learn some practical skills. Oh, do you think you could give me some pointers? Learning sword dancing could be useful for something. Of course. Thank you, Sergeant. I think I learned a lot from you. No, thank you. I learned a lot from all the footwork you showed. I'll use your sword dancing movements to enhance my own skills. The power of strike was increased. With Stock's improved skills, he can destroy some obstacles. By destroying obstacles, Stock can even open up paths or find items. Well, there we go! Maybe we can go break that mana crystal outside. And I also remember that you need the, um... That you need that ability to advance to a certain part of the game on the other timeline. I don't remember where. Why are there just random corners with... Oh, you know what? I think you have to find like invisible stuff in here later. That might be part of it. I I, rem I don't remember if it, if it has anything to do with like in this timeline or in the other one, but I specifically remember a part where there's stuff that's invisible and you need to be able to find it. Wow, this is a pretty empty looking place so far. 
pretty not item heavy, you might say. Just caught a glimpse of Field Marshal Viola. She's gorgeous. No wonder why she's called the Valkyrie. You know, I've never seen you take a break, Sergeant. Woo, the march alone made me tip tired. I need to train hard as I have some stamina. Oh, hell yeah! We get a free heal! There we go. That's why I didn't want to be spend thrifty with my items. Because I figured we'd get a heal. Rosh is not here right now, is he? But I don't think we used him, so yeah, he'll be fine. Well, we got one more floor to check out, and then we'll advance with the actual story. Are you serious? Is there seriously nothing? There's not a single treasure chest in here. Wow. Unless if there's some outside here. Which, like, I would hope there would be. Oh, there we go. Wisp Blade. Herbal Tea. Yeah, the invisible shit took me a long time too, because I was just checking every corner and I'm like, ugh. You have to make you have to kind of make generalized guesses of where it probably is. Uh well it looks like it's it. So we got a we got a sword, right? Wisp blade. Oh shit, that's really good. That is really good. We get some magic and we get some health. And obviously I'm gonna give that to Stock since he's he's my golden boy. I'm gonna make him as beefed up as possible. It's all invisible? Don't spoil anything. M more so for the, for the uh, potential audience, other audience members watching, than for me. I want to heal that 50 health that I'm missing because it's bothering me. There it is. Let's stay again, because I want to heal that 50 health. There we go. Now we'll save. Oh, and before we go check in with Rosh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stall even more because I want to go hit that mana crystal. I want to see if it'll break. Yeah, and that's it. Okay. Now let's go to the thing. Not that one. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty sure I actually remember exactly what the invisible stuff is, but I don't want to ruin it for anyone. 
Hey, Stock, our briefing's over. Field Marshal Viola's assigned us a mission. Come with me, I'm about to inform the rest of the brigade. Sure. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Captain! Listen up, men, we have new orders. Our army will begin advancing into Grand Plain tomorrow. However, Phase 1 is led by Field Marshal Kiel. Our own, only her unit will be on the offensive. We have been ordered to defend the fortress in her stead. So, we're just on guard duty? This is the front line, I don't want to hear that kind of talk. Grand Org is constantly looking for a way to take back his strongholds. And don't you forget that. Yes, sir! Please excuse my blunder. It'll obviously be tougher for the advance party, but our mission is just as important. That's right, I want everyone giving it all you've got. I'll be reorganizing the squad, so stand by for further orders. Today we march towards the D uh, toward the Diad Knights who have taken position in the Grand Plain. Advance party on me. Stay in formation. Time for us to get to work too. We can't let Grand Arc see any openings to take the fort back. Yes, sir! Right. It's so frustrating to be stuck in here while our own men are fighting out, out there fighting the war. Don't worry about that. I'll, it'll leave you weak when you need your strength the most. Yes, sir, you're right. Captain, reports are coming in of a large number of injured troops returning here. What? Are things going poorly on the front line then? Field Marshal seems to be having a difficult time dealing with High Colonel Diaz, sir. Grand Org is using explosives and our side is sustaining heavy casualties. Explosives? That doesn't sound good. Sergeant Stock! Are Field Marshal Viola's troops capable of holding their ground on the battlefield? It would be possible to send her reinforcements from here, wouldn't it? I have to think about this one for carefully. Oh shit! A decision? Oh my god, I have no idea what the right answer even is. Prioritize the mission, send reinforcements. I think if you prioritize the mission, they die. So I'm going to go with that and get the bad ending out of the way first. Should I have faith in Field Marshal Viola and concentrate on defending the Sand Fortress? Captain, shouldn't we join the battle as reinforcements? No, we can't do that. A losing battle isn't won by throwing manpower at it. Besides, if Field Marshal Viola is in danger, she'd be prudent enough to contact us. We need to stay the course and prioritize defending the Sand Fortress. Rosh seems to be pretty calm about all this. He probably knows that the best course of action is without having to hear me say it. Then it's settled. We should make our rounds and keep the men alert. Oh shit, was that the right choice? Oh, oh no! Oh well, I'll just go back and make the wrong choice later. Stock, you noticed too? Yeah, let's follow him. Captain, we're going after that renegade soldier. Hey, that wasn't one of my men. And the advance party should be well north of here in Grand Plain. That means... Kill! Come on, we need to join the pursuit! Well, understood! I want this entire floor on lockdown. Tighten security. We're going after them. I don't like how this looks. You're in command here, soldier. Sir, yes sir! Stock! We lost him. Seriously, he was going as fast as his legs could carry him. We were right behind you, so there's no way he doubled back into the fortress. Whoa! What the? K Captain! What happened? Enemy attacks, sir. The fortress is breached. They must have advanced in the dead of night. We estimate that they're about 300 strong. And the Diaz Knights in the Grand Plain were a decoy? What was that noise, though? Oh shit, okay, maybe this was the, uh... Enemy spy set up bombs, sir! They're using the chaos to pour into the fortress! Damn it! Set up the main defenses in the center of the fortress. We'll try to hold the north end where they're strongest and deal with the ones inside. 
Oh, this is the part, I think, with the, uh, oh my god. The this? The stairs are blocked. According to the report, there are five explosions. That means the upper floors might... Damn it! They must have known Field Marshal Viola would be heading to the front. Viola and her men are probably in danger, too. What? At this rate, our army will be... Oh, gosh. It's faint, but I sense black energy here as well. The explosives set up inside the fortress are probably the cause. If only they could be removed. But the explosives have been- oh, oh wow! That was, like, now! I thought that was later. Yeah, so, uh, spoilers everyone, the explosives are the invisible things. But the explosives have been made invisible by the black energy. Invisible explosives, what a pain in the ass. I'm reminded of a skill that the Satreos have that can heighten their senses to the unseen. I don't know how widely they practice it, but it seems like it might help here. The Sat Satro Sateros? Because it's Sater, right? So Sateros? I'm going to say Sateros. Well, we should be heading back. Oh, I remember this part of the story. Sateros. I may have to use the White Chrono, considering I haven't met any. So, what you're supposed to do is obviously go to the alternate history. Or, or not, or, sorry, the standard history. Because we're kind of screwed here. We kind of can't get up anywhere. So yeah, this is how we're. This is why we're stuck. But what I thought we had to do, the, what I thought I had to do the first time, was, um, say, you know that guy who said he was selling mana crystals from the Saintaros? I thought that was the guy I talked to the first time. What a smart thing, huh? What a smart decision. So, uh, this is as far back as I've gotten into the standard history. So we'll have to do a boss fight again. But it's okay, because it's a really fun boss fight. I'm just gonna skip the text here. We're fighting the, um, the desert pirate guys. I feel like I should be using Marco's magic boots more. Oh hell yeah, that was really good. Oh, we're gonna kick them in the ass this time. Nice. Now we can just auto battle this guy, because he's gonna be really easy. No point in wasting our mana. Wow, what a hard boss. Resurrection? Holy shit! We got a skill that revives people? Wow, that is amazing. So, uh, yeah, I think now is when we head to the... I'll save here so we don't have to do that again. Yeah. 
And yeah, we just have to get to the sand fortress, I think. I don't want to do too much fighting. I'll fight this guy though. I'll do some of it, just not all of it. I don't want this to take forever. Oh! Shit! Wow. Our guys have gotten a lot stronger than the last time I was here. Then we can probably just, yeah, we can just kick him in the face. Stab him in the face. Wow. That was literally just free experience. Awesome. So this is the Sand Fortress aboard as Granor. That means Grand Plain up ahead is Granor territory, yeah? Hmm, maybe the army will come along soon and take it back. We can't wait for that. Yeah, probably not. Heist's agent said the Diaz Knights are guarding the place. We fought them before at Laswell Hills, right? Do you think this will work, Stock? If we're gonna make our move, now's the time to do it while Pal Miners away. Our objective is to move quickly from the first floor to the third, and then head for Grand Plain. Let's move out. So, cause this is a different history line. Can I go hit the crystal again? Where even is it? There it is. Nice. So now it's, it's probably just gonna have enemy encounters in it, right? Yeah, it will. Let's fight one of them, just for the fun of it. Is it just a bunch of light soldiers? It looks like it's just a bunch of light soldiers. Yeah. I don't know what paralysis does. I don't remember. Oh, she can't use skills? Oh, that's fine. Oh, she can't move sometimes, too. Okay. Fair enough.
Oh my god. Wow, they really are weak. No! Marco, why? Oh shit, there's traps. Are we supposed to have the invisible skill? Ow! Are we supposed to have the invisible skill to see these? Maybe not. We just have to get past here and then we're out. Just a little farther, let's keep it up guys. Go! Uh, well, this can't be that hard. Yeah, well, I think you get it from, I don't want to spoil, but I think you get the ability to see the hidden shit from a character that you meet after this, so maybe, maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. Uh, anyways... I would like to kill as many of these guys as we can quickly. Marco, you just worry about healing yourself. Why are these guys stronger? It literally makes no- uh oh Alright, we want to knock out that formation. I'll, uh, push assault this guy, then you can stab assault that guy. There. Haha, -ha, your formation's ruined. That defender guy is kind of scary. Get him! You've got to be kidding me. Because it's a boss fight? Oh, then maybe I'm thinking of something else.
Oh, he is gone. He's gone. Fire. Frost. Attack. Thunder. Fire. Attack. He's dead. He's probably gonna- yeah, he's gonna go overkill. Nice. Oh no, she can cast fire too. That was a nice fight. <laughs> we really pulled it off. I'm just fine, thanks, Doc. Oh, did he say, like, how is everyone? What did he say? Yeah, he said, is everyone alright? Okay. Woo! From here on, we'll be going through Grand Plain. And just past that, Grand Org. Yeah, we really have to watch ourselves from here on out. I agree, come on, let's not waste any time. There's not going to be any extra treasure in here, is there? Wait, what? What the heck did I run into? I didn't even see anything. I could have killed it, I just didn't feel like dealing with it. I guess this area is not under our control, so that's why there's enemies here. Uh, it doesn't look like there's any sort of, uh, extra treasure. Yeah, just the same ones we already got. There's a couple of areas in Lasville Hills we'll be able to come back to, though, but I think we'll run into those areas later in the, in the story. One second. It's not food, I promise. It's something else.
that time I had to bring some laundry downstairs. Grand Plain. Whoa! Let's see what these guys have to say. Got some goblins, got some archers, oh boy. to attack twice. How is that fair? Oh my god, Marco, you finally learned Push Assault at level 15. It took you long enough. We are trying to, yeah, just, all right, reach Grand Ori. That's what I thought. I'll do some of the fighting, as always. That's a lot of fighting. Forty-one! That's a lot to take from poison, holy oh, crap. He's not still poisoned, is he? No, I think the status conditions are only in battle. I'm just used to Pokemon where all the, the status inflictions remain with you afterwards. What does this say? Eastern route closed. I don't think we can get to Alma Mayan. Why would we want to? That's not what we're supposed to be doing. Oh my god, it's Palamides. There's guards everywhere. Mark, isn't there any other way? Hmm, all the cliffs around here limit our options. 
I don't think we have a choice but to get past them. What? And here I hoped you had a miracle for me. Well, we could always try brute force, but stirring up trouble here might not be a good idea. What do you think, Stock? Uh, I think I know who this is, so... Wow, help! Huh? Was that a girl's voice? Why would a little girl be hanging around here? Let's go, everyone. Yeah, it's who I think it is. I don't know where she is, but she's probably somewhere. I have concluded that she's probably somewhere. Is she in the up air? Yeah, she's up here. Okay. Isn't that? Yeah, you have to defend her against two little wolf things, or, or panthers, or whatever these are. Hey, there's a girl over there! Best support, no contest? Is she a support character? I honestly don't remember. She's in danger. She's in danger, stop! Uh, let's wait! This is no time for that! He's right, stop! We need to hurry and save her! Support Trapper. Oh, that's right! She's the trap thing! I remember that. Also, holy shit, it's like a mini boss fight. Ow! Uh. Okay, we're gonna. We're gonna push assault this guy. And we're gonna swap Marco's turn. We're gonna get stock to do a right assault here. Then we're gonna get Marco to magic boost Rainy. Then Rainy will use fire on the two of these guys. And then Marco can also magic boost stock. No! So one of them is slightly more dead than the other one. We can knock out one of them, that would be optimal. So let's try and wait. Is anyone about to die? Marco is slightly hurting, but I think he can take it. Oh. Oh, we just overkilled this thing. I don't think it matters if I cast it here or here, but I want to bring it to the front. It just feels better. Nice. That wasn't too bad. Oh, they're not actually dead, they just run away. Great. Gotta love that game logic. Who are you? You're real quiet. But thanks for helping, everyone. My name's Ot. This is Le Laiz. And over there is Uncle Vanos. Rainy! That girl's a sa Saderos! Wow, yeah! This is my first time seeing one too. That would be animal abuse, bumping the game up to a T rating. <laughs> What's your name? Stock. Stock, huh? <laughs> I notice she's not asking us. <laughs> Seems that Stock is too popular with even little ones. I was, yeah, I was about to say Vanoss Gaming. 
Bro, did someone say Vanoss Gaming? You're so strong, Stock. We're traveling entertainers. What do you do, Stock? Uh, I kill things with my sword. And my charming good looks. Wow, we're really not looking so hot in the whole uh, MP department, are we? If I was smart, I'd use some items, but uh, <laughs> I have yet to be classed as smart. Oh yeah, we already did this. I'm gonna talk to you. I'm Laise, beautiful dancer for the Van Oz Entertainment Troupe. <laughs> Thanks for saving us. Oh, this is why we need, um... This is why uh, the art for Odd is so good. I think so too, I like it. Here's, here, here's Uncle Vanoss Gaming. Thank you for saving us. My name is Vanoss. <laughs> I'm just gonna, every time someone says Vanoss in the text, I'm gonna say Vanoss Gaming. My name is Vanoss Gaming. I leave this tree. That's great, what do I do? Find a way to sneak through to the home. Oh. I probably just have to exit. Yeah. Yeah. I also remember why you need Kiel's sword dancing skill now. Because there's the part where you have to pretend that you're traveling entertainers like they are. Where are you going, Stock? Can you say? Don't bother the man at. I just want to thank him for helping us. Come on, at. No, Ott's request is reasonable. Excuse me, sir. We owe you our lives. If you leave before we have repaid the debt, We'd be the shame of the Satyrus tribe. Is there nothing we can do to assist you? Hey, Stock, why don't we try asking them? Hmm. We need to get past the board up ahead, but in truth, we don't have any passes. Ah, I'm sure you have your reasons. It just so happens that we're headed to Grand Org ourselves. Why not travel with us as part of our performing troop? That ought to forestall any fuss, I think. Yeah, I don't really see any other way. Alright, we'll leave it to you. Your attire is quite conspicu conspicuous, so you should wear these robes. Very well, we will. What about Stock? Shouldn't he have one too? Mr. Stock's attire is uncommon enough that I believe we can pass it off as a costume. Are my clothes that odd? Oh, and like, Rainy's clothes are. Are you seeing how revealing that top part is? Like, come on. You'll be fine, just follow us, Doc. Well then, shall we be off? I joined Vanoss and the others, and Ott has, has joined our party. Uh, what level is she when she pops in here? She is level 14. Oh, okay, that's not that bad. Uh, what does she have? Yo! She is a greater heal skill? That's pretty cool. What else does she have? Whoops. Wrong button. Oh, she can steal stuff. She's an electric trap. Polaris raises ailment resistance. And we can scan. Yeah, I could see how this could be a good support character. Uh... I don't know when we'll have to do fighting. But I will put Ott in place of Marco for because she seems like an extra support character. Ah, ah, don't run into me. I'm not in the mood for any fighting right now. I can tell I've got- I'm- I'm 
at least better at this game now than what, than I was as a kid. Because when I fight those saber saber tooth tigers as a kid, I was like six or seven levels higher, and I had a harder time with them than I did just now. <laughs> Stop right there. Let's see your passes. Will this suffice? Traveling performers, huh? All right, move along. Most gracious of you. Come, everyone, let us be going. Hold it right there. Hmm, is something amiss? Are you with the troop? Ah, uh, yes, there. I didn't ask you. Answer my question, or none of you pass. Indeed, sir, we're new members. A thousand pardons for not introducing ourselves. One last thing I forgot about the remakes and all the events on the possible history route are new to the game are 100% voice. Yeah, I saw that in the trailer, that there was some voice acting. The stock? I had no idea he could be so obsequious. You the only humans in the act? Yes, sir, you are correct. Hang in there, Stock. As I was just about to explain, they have only recently joined our troop. I said I didn't ask you! Recently, huh? Are you really a performer? Alright, prove it to me. Show us your act and we'll let you pass. My act? One moment, sirs. What's he gonna do? I didn't expect them to be this cautious, or did they never plan to let anyone through? There's no time to lose. Should I draw my sword? I have to think about this one carefully. Uh, okay, so I absolutely 100% remember that forcing your way through is the bad decision. And you know why? Because we need Kiel's sword dancing skill to be our act. So we're going to force our way through. Because... I want to get all the the quick bad endings out of the way for 100%. Because I don't know about if I'm going to try 100%, but it'll be cool to show off the little side points of the story. Forcing our way through these soldiers. Is that the only way for us? Absolutely. It's not like we know how to sword dance or anything. Well, it can't be helped. Well, we're waiting. Aren't you going to a obl- What are you doing? <laughs> They're dead. Stuck! We got a rabbit! Ugh, either we need to chase him down or get away fast. Stuck, what are you doing? I'm sorry for dragging you all into this, but this is the work we do. Stuck, hurry! You should get far away from here quickly. I won't do anything to you, but it's best you forget your knives. Stock! Stock! Stock and the others broke through the Grand Orc checkpoint. However, one soldier escaped and alerted Grand Orc to their presence. As a result, infiltrating the kingdom took far longer than they had anticipated. By the time they gained entry to Grand Orc, their contact had already flooded the city. The war between Alistil and Grand Orc was ever more intense. A sealed path. Wow, guys, we beat the game like three separate times this playthrough. Isn't that impressive? You've returned the Uh... Also, the bad endings from the possible history route are ridiculously dark. One of the endings is literally titled Hugo the Omnipotent. Okay. You've returned stock. Those beast-kind entertainers you met, it seems your destinies intertwine in the future. Especially that little girl. Try to resolve the situation without using force so your ties are not severed. If you learn some sort of feat or performance trick, I'm sure you can fool those guards. <laughs> and I can just see his, like, passive aggression. He's like, you know, the sword-dancing talent you already have. Oh, shit. We, are, we got sent all the way back here. Wow. 
a good thing I can fast forward. So this time we're going to abandon the idea and remember that we know how to swords dance. What to do? There's no time and I don't see another way. Wait, there is an act I can perform. That sword dance Kiel taught me. I'll try that. I'm trained, sir, as a sword dancer. If I might ask you to stand over here? Well, why? What are you going to do? Shh, sir. It's dangerous to move during the act. Ah! He absolutely sliced right through you, but that's okay. I'm... I'm not cut? Wow! I see! Very impressive! Okay, move along, all of you. Thank you, sirs. Excuse us! And there we go! Simple as that. Just remember you know how to sword dance. <laughs> Did you see the look in that soldier's face? I nearly burst out laughing. You're full of surprises, Doc. I didn't know you had such hidden talents. Truly, it was a remarkable display of swordsmanship. Should you ever find yourself in need of employment, please consider joining our troop. Yeah! Then again, I can't imagine one so skilled having diffi any difficulty finding work. Now then, we should be going. We aim to head west a little towards an open area we always use for camping. Would you consider staying the night with us? We have superb tents who will sleep in perfect comfort. As long as it fully restores my health and mana! Why not, Stock? The job doesn't begin till tomorrow anyway. Sounds good. I'm sorry if it puts you out. I'll stay. Oh, is, is Ott not in the party right now? Well, now she is. Where are we going? Find a place to pitch the tent. But don't tell me where, just a place. We'll have to kill this guy if we want to get bombs up here. Oh boy. Lightning trap. a lot of pain. Wow. These guys are hitting this hard. Oh no, Rainy's running out of mana. Oh no. Awesome. Uh, okay, this should work, because if we put an electric trap back, back here, then we push salt this guy, then we change Rainy's turn so the stock can push again. Yeah, this will work. Awesome. Those traps are really good.
Where's the bomb I'm supposed to use? Oh, there's a book. No. I want to find the bomb. Oh. Is there no bu- oh, there it is. That's not the way! Oh, well, we know to not go up there now. Bishop stud. Yo! Let's equip this an at. An at. Oh, is there anything else we can put on for her? Oh, I should have bought that other dagger. But anyways... Bishop's dead. Cause her, uh... Defense wasn't looking so hot. And her magic defense wasn't looking so hot either. Oh wow, the thing is terrible his terrible aim on its charger. It doesn't look like there's a whole lot of stuff to get at here. Stock, where are you going? Well shit, man, where am I supposed to go? Ah! I timed the sword too late. Oh my god, can we please run? You couldn't escape. You couldn't escape. You couldn't escape! Oh my god! We're gonna die right here. Please. Oh my god. I did not want to fight those guys. Is that the bomb so we can get back through here? Yeah, it is. Well, wh where do I go? Is there anywhere over- oh, there's somewhere over here. I get it. Those trees are just more of a check if you have the, the skill. So those things should die pretty easy. So then where should I put this trap? Hmm. 
I guess here. Where do we camp? Oh, forest clearing? This would, yeah, this would be a good place to camp, wouldn't it? I did it. We've arrived, everyone. We're here! Hey, keep running around like that and you'll fall and hurt yourself. I'll be okay. Haha, <laughs> she's a spunky kid. Laise and I shall prepare the tents. Would you mind hunting up something for our dinner? We'll need firewood as well, if you please. Let's go on a scavenger hunt! Sure, how much do you need? Oh, about five should do. Five good pieces of firewood. Alright, we'll be back soon. Ah, stay out of their way, okay? I will. Let's go, stock. Uh... So this is gonna seem real dumb, but I don't know how to get wood. Gather five pieces of firewood and some food. I guess we have to fight things for the food, but at the same time, where will the firewood come from? Oh well, maybe we'll find out by killing something. This place is bigger than I thought it'd be. Where'd we start looking? I'll show you, Stock. Can you come see a second? Oh, is this where we get the ability to see hidden shit? Yep. Yeah, Mana Sight. There we go. Mana Sight is the ability to sense what that is. 
that which cannot be seen by the naked eye, for example, invisible wood or bombs. By detecting faint changes in the flow of mana, you can find hidden items. Be careful, however, you must be very close to hidden items in order to find them. Can you see anything? Yeah, I can see a white light. I knew it! You know, I've heard of this. Beast kinds supposedly have strange powers that humans don't. Huh, really? Yep. So I should be able to see little tiny movements in mana now. That's amazing. Could I learn to do it too? Hmm, I don't think so. <laughs> Oof. What? Why not? My grandpa said you need a special gift to be able to do this. I could tell that Stock is a special gift. I see. How disappointing. But your grandfather sounds like a very wise man. Okay, Stock, you gotta find more of these. Alright, I just need to look around using this power, right? And we're gonna save, even though we just did that. How do I find the wood? You've got to be kidding me! Ah! Uh, fine. Well, we can kill two of these goblin guys if we give, um, Stock an extra turn. Nice. I'm gonna try and conserve our MP a little. Oh, come on. Really? I'm trying here, okay? Marco leveled up. Awesome. Still don't know where those withered branches are. Ah, I have found one. I don't think there are any more around here, so let's yeah, look at the I was kind of not even bothering to read that. something. Ooh! We stole an item. How exciting. 
Uh-oh. No! Let's try and steal something from the other guy. And then let's kick his ass. Oh, I like how it highlights what you stole. That's nice. That's helpful. Yikes, dude, that's a really fast tiger. Huh. I feel like we should, uh, swap out our party. But at the same time, Marco's dying. And he needs to be our backup. Outside of combat, healer. I don't think there are any more around here, so it seems. Let's look elsewhere. So I guess there's one per area. Withered Branch X3. We run. Nope. I don't want to run out of health or mana. Run. Thank you. At the same time, I should probably be fighting a little bit more so I can not die. Beef up my stats. I don't think there are any more around here. Let's go towards the South Hill. South Hill? I have a secret place there. Alright. Let's walk down.
fertile land. The prophet Noah says that the desertification is because of Queen Protea's tyranny. Tyranny, sorry. He leads the land be he says the land goes bad when a ruler with an impure heart rules over it. Yes, I've heard that too. That, though, was from his mouthpiece, General Hugo. The slow drawing of, up of livable land is everyone scared. Oh my god. Wow, such a big piggy! Wait, get back! That's a boar, it's dangerous! Oh, and he his friends, of course. Uh, well... Fantastic. Ow. I want to steal from the boar. It might not be the most tactically good thing, but I want to get items. Ah, uh, we couldn't steal. Come on, let me steal. Traps are really good. Fresh meat. There we go. We got everything. That was a really big picky. You guys are so strong. When I grow up, I want to be as strong as stalking his friends. Uh, you did the majority of the damage to that thing. You do realize that, right? Brainy, why don't you take it from here? Huh? Sure, fine with me. But aren't you being a little cold stock? Look at, we're really gonna stuff ourselves silly tonight. Yay! I bet everyone's hungry back at the camp. Oh, and you're gonna make me walk there. Of course you would do that. How's Mar how's how's Marco looking for help? He's looking better than you are, so he's gonna go here. Uh... Yes, in the southwest forest. Okay. Well, that helps. Go southwest. Pro tip, don't die? Well, thank you, Zero713. That's always a, some good advice. If only every gamer could follow that amazing advice, then then no one would ever lose games if you just didn't die. Okay.
I can be the first to follow it? Exactly. I almost got nailed by that tiger there, but I didn't. Ah, I see you've collected the firewood. Thank you. Let's rest for the day, then. Welcome back. Here you go! My, it looks like we'll be having quite a feast this night. <laughs> you seem to have been after some big game. Wasn't it dangerous for you to hunt? Don't worry about it, it wasn't much. Hey, mind if I pitch in on the cooking? Not at all, we'd welcome your help. And then, and then, Stock was like... Yes, yes, why don't we chat after dinner's ready, huh? Um, uh, okay... <laughs> See? That's why Stock's awesome! I'm surprised you dealt so easily with such a vicious beast. And that's after you saved us, too. You must be pretty strong. Hey, Stock? I guess it's goodbye when we get to the city. True enough. I know! I'll give you a goodbye present! Obtained white page. What's this? It seems very old. It is! It's a page from a really old book! They say if you hold on to it, God will protect you. Impressive, you're sure? Uh-huh, I want you to have it, Stock. Besides, only you can meet God anyways. This game got awfully religious. God? Also, um... Nah, never mind. Hmm, is something wrong? Ah, that's... That gave it to me. Is it special somehow? Ott did that? I see. Please look after it closely for her. Yeah, I will. Put the white page into white book? I was thinking about that. Can you do that? Well then, I'd say it's time we got some rest. I'll definitely try the first time I get. If it, if it even lets me. Morning, Stock! Good morning, everyone. Grand Orc lies just ahead. Laiz and I will pack up the tent before heading. Why don't the rest of you go on ahead with us? Yeah, I want to go with Stock. Ah, don't cause any trouble, you hear? I won't. Grand Orc's north of here, right? Indeed it is. It shouldn't be long before you arrive. Have a safe journey. Uh, item. White page. Can't do anything of it. Can't do anything with it. But yeah. I, I guess that's what you're supposed to do. Yay! We're fully healed! See, that's why I didn't want to waste too many of the items. Uh, Alright, well, let's advance to Grand Org. We gotta go up. Let's do a little bit more fighting. Beef up our stats. That's... Wow, that's pretty, pretty strong, wild encounter. Uh... Wait, maybe we can kill it, because if we... No, that wouldn't work like that. Okay, well... We can do that, and we can push Assault, this guy. Then we'll change turns.
I don't know why they'd be raising their speed stat when they're about to die. It seems awfully counterintuitive. Can we kill this guy? Maybe? Maybe, just maybe? We stole something! He's down. Nice. Hopefully this works. We stole something. Oh no, Marco! You're so weak! That's okay. Ooh, sleep wings. Sleep wings. Now that sounds interesting. I didn't just save, did I? Well, six minutes ago. So kinda. Wait, why am I going over here? We gotta go up this way. Oh, whoops. We'll do one more combat, and then I'll just head out. Oh boy, that's a lot of things. I need to make sure I remember what I did. Okay, so put an electric trap in the middle. Then we push assault the tiger. Then we change to Ad's turn to be next. We put an electric trap in this square. Then we go right assault on the back. Nice! Uh oh. Marco's dying! Good thing we got a heal skill. There we go. Thank you. 
possible. I really like those traps. They're very strong. They are quite good. Oh, what do we got here? Look! Is that... Oh my god, it's a dead guy. Too late, he's already gone. From the looks of the wounds, he ran afoul of a beast of... He ran afoul of a beast of some kind rather than bandits. Man, that sucks. Before the war, there were many more Grand Arc soldiers stationed around here. Their job was to protect the merchants who used this road. But now they're all reassigned to the battlefield. Things are bad in Alistair, but Granorg isn't having an easy time of it either. You can say that again. Between Hugo and Protea, isn't, why isn't there a single decent ruler around? General Hugo's not a king, though. He's only a mouthpiece for the Prophet Noah's proclamations. Doesn't matter. Hugo's still the one making things worse. It's all Prophet this and Prophet that, but who knows what he's really thinking. Or if he's even still alive. Well, I'll at least agree that General Hugo's a little creepy. And speaking of the Prophet, has he shown himself even once these past few years? He's leaving everything in Hugo's hands, and Hugo's milking it for all he's worth. Rainy, I think you've said enough. Oh, right, sorry. I'm, I'm just your inferior slave. I don't get an opinion. It's okay. Don't be scared. I'll, so, I'll tell you where you should go. Well, that's a lot more peaceful than turning into sand. What was that? Ot! I sent him away. You sent him? What are you talking about? I have to take people who are done on Earth to the heavens. It's my job. Your job? I've heard of this. Set... Sederos shamans are holy ones who watch over the souls of all. They're central to the Sederos ways of life. Are you a shaman then, Ot? A shaman? I don't know. Wow, it really looks like she doesn't really realize what she did. That was... Nope, it's not Uncle Vanoss Gaming. <laughs> hmm? Who's that? That power just now, I could swear that... Milady, if we don't hurry... Of course, thank you, Mary. There they go, I wonder what that was about. Well, whatever. Let's hurry on ahead. No, we're not gonna save. We're gonna wait. We're gonna wait a little. I'm gonna not save every five minutes. Personal challenge of the game. Oh my god, are we in Granorg? I think we're in Granorg. We finally made it. Yeah, we made it! The storied kingdom of Granorg at last. The agent's here, right? Yes, at least he should be. Come on, guys, hurry up! Haha, <laughs> good old lad. Odd. Let's hurry inside! I heard this was a nation proud of its tradition, but somehow I thought it'd be cleaner. Thank Queen Protea, it's her, probably her tyranny that's left the country in such a mess. I feel sorry for the people here if this is a safe their nation's in. No kidding. We'll talk later. Right now we need to meet the agent and get our mission details from him. Let's go. It's Van Hus Gaming. Ah, stock. Please wait. Why so shy, Ot? Is it because Stock's with us? Nuh-uh! 
<laughs> well, Stock, it looks like we part ways here. Perhaps we'll meet again someday if fate permits. Perhaps. We'll be working the city for a while, so drop by sometime. For you, free admission. Alright. Huh? Isn't there something you want to say? Hmm? What's the matter? I don't want to say goodbye to Stock. Hot. Hot. Stock has a job to do. That's why he came here. You shouldn't disturb him. <laughs> Besides, we'll be in the same city for a while. You'll see him again. No, it's not that. What is she doing? Hot. Oh, child, what are we going to do with you? My apologies, Stock. She'll be alright, don't worry about her. We'll be on our way now. Good luck to you and good luck to you all. Yeah, same to you. Well, now that we're on our own again, let's get back to the mission. The agent's supposed to be at the square in the commercial district, which is er, towards the castle on this path on the east, I think. Let's go. Okay, I'm gonna speak to this merchant guy first. Oh. I'd rather not, because I'm trying to save my money for other things. But, uh... Granark is bound to have some other... weaponry in other stores, right? Oh my god, is someone just dead? The reign of the late King Victor wasn't so great, but there weren't dead bodies littering the alleys either. Yikes! That's kinda not great. We're not in Chapter 2 in the story yet, are we? We're almost- we've gotta be almost there. Well, let's go take a look around. Welcome. Please stay and relax. There are rumors that Count Sullivan troops are en route to Alma, Alma Mine. The division carries out a lot of secret missions, so you don't ever know what they're doing. The Count is known for being a tactical genius, and probably some kind of tide turning move. Something smells rank. What is that? Oh, yeah, we have to come back here later. We have to go into the sewers. I think. I think that's now. I don't think that's later. What have you got to sell? How about some world famous Cornet Village bread? It's freshly baked using local organic ingredients. Welcome, this is Freight's Fresh Produce straight from Cornet Village. Yeah, I know, but see, where are all your random treasure boxes? It's Alice Life. If the inn is as cheap here as it is in as it is um, in Alistair, I'll I'll drop fifty gold just to heal up a bit. Yeah, I'll drop fifty gold just to heal stock and Marco a bit. It doesn't really matter that much. Not that much money. Resistance member sightings must be reported to Grand Army. So it looks like we went over the whole left side. What about um? Let me out. About the whole right side. Oh, never mind. Guess we can't go that way. Oh, this is probably where I went on the other side. There. 
That looks like it may be the Alistelian agent. Guess I should go find out. Yeah, you should. Right after we wander the streets and talk to people. The citizens of Alistair all believe in the teachings of Noah. What kind of sermons could unite an entire nation? I don't know. All I know is I'm totally buying shit from the weapon store. Uh... So none of this stuff will be better for stock. That'll be a little better for Rainy. She does a lot of magic at the same time, though, so I, I think I should keep this in the back in case if she needs it. Uh, I'll give Marco an iron sword. And we can sell the Blitz EP and the Custom Sword. No, 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 I'm not done. Heavy Mail. Oh yeah, this is the thing that boosts your stuff, but it, it lowers your speed. It doesn't even give as much um, magic defense as the Silver Mail. So yeah, it doesn't seem like it's that worth it. I'll get um, one of these for Marco, and I'll get one of these for Rainy as well. And I will, well, if I can find the place, I'd like to stock up in some more mana items. Hey, Might Herbex 2, okay. Sounds alright, sounds alright. We'll talk to that agent in just a second. Just gonna go get some more mana healing thingies. Oh, this stuff is expensive. <laughs> Kept you waiting, huh? You three must have been sent by Heiss. That's right, you're the agent? That's me, I'll give you the short version. Princess Arusa is next in line for the Grand Oak Throne. You're to assassinate her. Assassinate Princess Arusa? Not Queen Protea? Use whatever means you deem necessary. It's entirely at your discretion. From here forward, there'll be no, su no support from us. I'm leaving the country right away myself. That's all. Best of luck. We're assassinating the princess? By any means necessary, huh? I had a feeling this would be a really important mission, but... An assassination? <sighs> Welcome back, Stock. You've safely reached Granorg, but you've been entrusted with a grave task. Only remember this. You are the one who decides what to do from here, Stock. Let us now add a new chapter to the White Chronicle. Hmm? There is a there that there in your hand. It's a page of the White Chronicle. We can use that to unseal a new power. Here goes. Ooh, what do I get? We're putting the white page in the in the book. Unseal the power of mana first. Mana burst can be used when the mana gauge is full. You can fill the mana gauge by attacking, but it will fill faster by performing combos. When you use a mana burst, the mana gauge will reset to zero. Oh, this is how you get the overdrive skills! Mana burst is a means to release your pent up inner strength. The power just unsealed is the most basic mana burst, called turn break. 
use it to rob enemies of their opportunities to act. Those who travel with you can also use this power. The others too? I see, I'll give it a try. Now then, what will you do? Uh, I don't know guys, I think chapter 1 was really fun, so we should play it all again and now we're gonna continue. Standard History Chapter 2, Kingship. And apparently, they never noticed I was gone. So that's cool. So we're supposed to assassinate Princess Arusa, huh? That's the mission, so that's what we're gonna do. What do we know about her? I've heard she's a beautiful lady with beautiful golden tresses. Or quite a lady. Why do you think she's the mark and not Queen Protea? Good point. Protea helps holds all the real power in the reward. If the goal is to throw the country into chaos, she'd be a prime target. Hey, did you hear that the princess might be involved with the resistance? Shh, what if the soldiers are you talking to that? Never mind the soldiers, did you guys catch that? Aha, I think this thing is starting to make sense. Assuming that's true, then this could be quite a scandal in the making. It seems there's more to this than meets the eye. Regardless, our first objective should be to secure Red from the castle. Let's gather some intel first. Some intel? Are you telling me that I have to walk around and talk to people? That's like my least favorite thing to do. If you know the whereabouts of a resistance member of Portos immediately, consider it the civic duty of the citizen. If you don't, well, you best weigh the consequences. Wow. It's no reward if you do. There's just punishment if you don't. Uh, yeah, I I figured this was a thing. I remembered there was a blockade of people somewhere, I just didn't remember where. Well, I don't know about intel, but we could go to that sewer again. That is, if I can remember where it is. Also, before we uh, continue, how long have I been going at this for? Because I feel like I've been going at this for a while. Four hours and 14 minutes. That's a long time, but I'm having fun with this, so I want to keep going for a little, little while. A little while longer. Oh, hey, it's those desert bandit guys. Hey, weren't those two... Yeah, they looked like those two bandits we took down earlier. The desert crows or something like that, wasn't it? Huh? They gave us the slip. Where'd they go? You know what? I think I remember exactly how far you can get before you swap. Something smells rank. What is that? Are you serious? Dude, go in the sewer! What do I have to do? Talk to the bartender? Oh, I. that is exactly what I have to do. Welcome. Don't think I've seen your faces before. Come to think of it, you guys weren't the ones making all that racket up back, were you? Huh? I don't know what you're talking about. Is there something back there? Not really. Just some stacks of old boxes and barrels, but if it wasn't you guys, don't worry about it. And, uh, those things are stacked pretty high, so keep clearing them, alright? We aren't responsible for any accidents. Say, Barkeep, could I bother you for a sec? Don't you think it kind of smells in here lately? Reminds me of the soup. Is there some kind of hole in the ground? Hey, this place isn't that run down. The smell of the underground waterway just drifts this way if the wind is right. Oh, I didn't know that thing stretched all the way under here. I thought it only connected the palace to the city. Er, it doesn't connect to the palace. What am I saying? Just forget I said anything. I've been drinking, seeing. Well, I'm a drunken liar. You hear me? Please don't tell anyone you heard that from me. What an important plot point. An underground waterway. That may be useful. But where is the entrance? If you can smell it from here, it shouldn't be too far. Wow, I wonder where it is. Castle Sewers has been added as a note. Have I saved recently? 
I actually haven't. Imagine that. I haven't saved in like 22 whole minutes. It's over here. Ah, what is that smell? Look here, there's a hole underneath all these boxes. It looks more like an entrance to the underground waterway than a hole. Yeah, I don't think the average hole is a ladder. Someone must have made this. Think it was those desert crows? It must lead to the palace. If it does, will it be dangerous? Maybe, but it's worth checking out. Let's head down. But it stinks. Oh, get down there, you sass- you sissy. Ah. But it smells bad. What are those two doing? Can we really sneak into the palace from here, bro? Don't sweat it. The intel I got is legit. It'll lead us right into the palace's clink. But we've walked everywhere, and all we found are dead ends, bro. No, no, we gotta use our noggin. I mean, there's an, I wager there's a mechanism of some sort. What kind of mechanism? You saw that lever by the drawbridge, didn't you? We jerry-rigged that somehow. Ah! But bro? Wah! scared the daylights out of me and my partner. How long have you been standing there? Long enough. Say, aren't you guys the bandits we ran across in Lasville Hills? Ah, you remember? Then. Name's Bram. Bram of the Desert Crows. I thought you guys were just grunts and maybe we shared the old shadow trade after all. If so, too bad. The treasure's ours. That's right. We're going after Queen Protea's treasure. Whatever. We're not after that kind of stuff. We aren't going to stop you. Y you sure? Bro, you hear that noise? It's kind of eerie. You don't think there are ghosts down here, do you? Well, I did see the shadow of a little girl not so long ago. This ain't the time for jokes like that. Hey, you want my advice? Just leave. This place ain't got nothing but dead ends. Come on, Hertz, let's go put some elbow grease on that lever. Maybe it'll open a path. Strange guys aside, it sounds like we found our way into the palace. Uh, yeah, there's nothing there. I don't know if enemies drop down on you in the sewers. I don't. <gasps> I just had to fucking say something, didn't I? I just had to say something. Oh, they drain our mana, that's nasty. That is nasty. Bloody. Oh wow, they're pretty durable. Oh no, I thought we were gonna do way more than that. Yeah. 
Okay, not the best start. What the hell is that thing? I'm just gonna keep hitting it. I don't want to waste mana. Nature's Wrath. Ow! It's gonna do two attacks. What the- that's not fair. Oh boy! Good thing that thing is super slow. Really? I came over here for nothing. Bridge has been raised. Excellent. Does that mean we can exit this way and then we can go? Cool. Looks like some foot traffic opened up the passage front. I almost forgot. That noise from before, well I just heard it again. All I'm saying is we might not be, not be alone down here. Just a bit of friendly advice. Watch your back. Run! Purple tea. Oh, great. That's actually nice. That's mana recovery. Oh, okay. I guess we won't fight it. <laughs> uh, I'll go down this side. I don't know. 
Ooh. Male vest. Ooh, what is that? Male vest. More defense, but less magic defense. I think uh, Marco could use this right now. It doesn't seem to me like there's a whole lot of magic going on at the moment. Oh, there's hidden chests. <coughs> Two grand. That's cool. Yeah, I I remember having a strong dislike for the sewers as well. I don't know if you if you were uh, watching it earlier, but uh, one of the enemies just jumped me. Yeah, the emulator does not like the party menu, and it does not like the store. You are absolutely correct. A bridge has been raised. Yeah, well, I want to see what's over here, though. What do we got? Okay, but what's up there? Well, nothing interesting's over here. There is a lever over here, though. Ah, so if we get around that enemy down there, then we can get something else. I see. Can I...? Yeah, I can sneak around him. Specialty. All right. And we also, uh, yeah, okay. There wasn't anything over there. I just thought maybe I hadn't stepped in the right spot because of the magical ability that I just got to see the hidden things. What? I'm 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 confusing myself here. Please excuse my incredibly short term memory. Let's go this way. And th there we go. Who are you? My name's Claire. I was having an adventure in the waterway, but I got lost. Please, could you haunt me outside? If I help this girl get out of the waterway, I'll go back to the entrance. I'd have to put get, go into the palace and hold. Can I do that? Uh, yeah. Children first, all the way. Uh, hopefully I don't have to avoid all combat, because that's probably not happening. Especially with that enemy that'll just jump me. <laughs> Whoops, wrong exit. It's the top one. Oh, 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 you didn't get me that time. You almost did. But you didn't. But yeah, dude, the entrance is like right here. And she'll probably give you something. Yay, we're outside. Ah, yes, I should give this to you. Small satchel, holy water. What's in the bag? <laughs> it's a secret. You can look at it later. Okay, thank you. Thanks for helping me. I hope we meet again. An unexpected setback. Now I've got to head for the palace. Yeah, but what's in the satchel? Oh, we don't know. Something around is inside. Okay. We got a lot of cool things here. And a shard. Oh! You don't uh, you don't always get mana crystals from the stones. Here I was thinking I had like five, and I only have two. It's probably 
probably like a percentage chance, and it's probably not very high. Okay. It's a pre cooked grenade? Oh shit. Claire's trying to, trying to kill us here. Anyways, that wasn't too much of a setback. And from what I remember, we are almost at the point in the game where we have to go on the other path in the history. Uh, so it looks like there's nothing over here. Wind armlet. Ooh, what's that? Oh, shit. We should equip that. Nice. She's being possessed by the true antagonist Antifa. The other path with Rosh faced. Uh well there's the secret treasure chest. But where do I go? But where do I go? I'm confused. Excuse me. I'm just gonna... Oh, there's other parts up here. Of cor yeah, of course there are. Of course there would be. Yeah, there's that. But then what's up here? Wait. We already hit this, didn't we? Wait. Okay. Is it just me? Or am I, like, missing something here? Oh, I hate map- I hate mapping this. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Don't touch me. So we already did this. We did this whole bottom part. Like that top path made me feel emotions I didn't know a game could make me feel. On the timeline? Okay, well there's nothing down here, so... Ugh. I think we have to exit this way. But then where is the exit? And not, not the top sewer path. I didn't think so. I didn't think that's what you meant. Where do I go? I'm losing my mind. I already pressed this! I'm, I'm actually going insane. Hi. I'm just gonna sneak around you. So we're back here. But the- Oh, dang, I didn't even see that. Okay. I have located the next place where we- That wasn't there. I- No! Oh! I was not ready for that. Like, at all. Okay. I guess we'll fight. That's rude.
Okay. So we don't go down here. So we gotta go up. Metacloth. HP regen? Oh shit, that's really good. Oh, you've gotta be kidding me! Ha I was facing down! I should probably just not be trying to blatantly ignore this combat. But instead, let's blatantly ignore the combat. <sighs> Please just get away. Are you really? How badly do you want me to actually play? No. Stop. You're fine. Was that the exit? I sure hope that was the exit. Yeah, that's it. Don't you dare. Okay. Yeah, that's it. That's all we gotta do. The bridge has been raised. Amazing. Do not. Literally, do not. Do not. I'm gonna fight you. Do not ever do that. So those are both closed off. Oh, climbing this up will lead it. Climbing up this will way will lead us right into the palace of slammer. Ready? Right, oh bro. Sounds like the palace should be up that way. So we're finally sneaking in. The moment of truth. Er, I'm getting anxious. Try to stay calm. If you don't, you'll make careless mistakes. Just consider another day in the job. You're right, we can always count on stock to keep us cool. Besides, those crow guys don't seem to be taking it too seriously either. 
Yeah, those two might even be taking things a little too lightly. Hopefully they don't make any trouble for us up there. Alright, let's move. There's nothing over here. There could be something in the other path, though. Let's... Oh! Man, I cannot stand those enemies that drop down from the ceiling. Ah, uh, that, yeah, that's why I came over here. I wanted to see if there was a chest. And there was! Uh, now we can head on up. What's all this? You blokes have some business in the palace too? Well, I take it you're going up for an audience with Her Majesty. Not to worry, it's not my business, so I'll leave you to you and yours. Be seeing you. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Next time I see you, I'll be taking my revenge for last time. Fair warning. Right, pardon us, gents. Hey, bro, don't go leave them on me now. Uh... Yeah, I don't think there's anything even in here. And... If I recall correctly, we are just about the part where we get stonewalled on the top path. Yeah. Damn you, get your grubby hands off of me. Shut up! How did you get in here anyway? Uh, they got caught. They just had to get in our way, didn't they? Now the soldiers will be on high alert. Right, it looks nearly impossible to get through undetected. Forcing our way through isn't exactly an option. Forcing our way in, it's never a good way to go. Even if the assassination succeeded, we never make it up alive. But can we really avoid casualties given our situation? I have to think about this one carefully. Uh, I'll be the decoy. This is absolutely the wrong answer. I act as a decoy while Rainy and Marco carry the mission. Is that the best plan? Absolutely not. That's why I pick you at first. I'll take point to break through the guards. Rainy and Marco use the distraction to get into the castle. You can't stalk. That's suicide. You're going to try and take them that many by yourself? I'll go with you. Maybe then... No, one decoy is enough. If I'm alone, I'll have a better chance of escaping the palace. Another person would just be a liability. But... The assassination may be difficult even for two people as it is. That's why I'm entrusting it to you two. I'm counting. Ah, stock! Stock chose to break through security alone. Acting as a decoy, the plan gave Rainy and Marker their chance to infiltrate the castle. Stock performed admirably, and though he was heavily wounded, he managed to escape. But a few days later, he heard some unsettling news. Rainy and Marco were captured by Grand Archers. They were charged with the assassination of the princess, but something was amiss. The date the princess died, and the date they infiltrated the castle were different. What did it mean? Grand Arc citizens became enraged at the news of the assassination. The war intensifies. Fated Assassination Wow, we beat the game again. So many ways to beat this game. You've returned stock. You could make so many speedrun categories. I didn't think you'd be able to get through to such tight security. You're a very talented secret agent. But your comrades got caught up in something big while you escaped. Were they really the ones who assassinated the princess? You have to keep them alive. Stay with them, stock. If you are there, you can ensure that your entire team makes it out alive. And we are skipping this shit. Gotta try and find a save point somewhere to use the book. There should be one close by. There should be. Doesn't mean there is. Ah, 
Come on. Wait, what? Why is this happening? Halt! You there? Hmm. What do you want? No, it's nothing. Did you have something to say to me? Yes. What is your relationship to her? What? I don't understand. Don't play dumb. I know you entered the city with her. Do you mean Ott? No, Ott is just a little girl. I'm talking about Laïs. It seems like most of the- yeah, it seems like most of the choices are brute force versus something else, and the brute force is usually wrong. I met them along in my travels, that's all. Oh, I see. Hey, could you do me a favor? Can you bring Laïs to me? I want to talk to her one more time, so please bring her here. What should I do? Uh, sure. I can do that for you. Oh, thank you. Is this one of those side mission things? It is. So... Where's that other one? So I'm assuming this doesn't have any sort of... other thing to it. Because I know that at some point, you were able to... Like, a guy died in the in the mudslide, and you, you were able to see him before he died, except that I don't know when that was, and I think it might have been before a point where we're able to time travel to. I could go back and look sometime soon, but I'm not sure. Anyways, we're gonna save. And we need to go find Lais. I have no idea where she is. Like, literally none. At all. She might be performing up there. That would make the most sense to me. But then I don't know how I get up there. I think I have to wait, because I know at some point you go and you can talk to them again, because Ott obviously comes back. So for now I'll just go, we'll go uh, jump in the book, jump forward to here. And, yeah, I know we can advance, but I kind of just want to get this done. We'll stick to stealth. Come up with a way to reach the princess undetected. Is that the best course of action? It wouldn't be right wise to stir up any trouble at this point. Let's pull back. We need to reassess our situation. Get them upstairs. Cross-reference them with, with, with that tip we got. With that tip off we got. Yes, sir. What should we do, Stock? That passage is crawling with guards, and we'll never get through our list. It's faint, but I sense the Chronicle's energy here as well. Then taking down those guards won't solve anything. Indeed, but it will be difficult to pass them without being discovered. Do you have an idea of how you will accomplish this? I do. Heist is the key. He single-handedly created Speckens. His espionage skills are unparalleled. He taught me the basics after I transferred from the army. But just the basics. He may know a skill that would be useful with time like this. Then again, I doubt he'd just up and teach it to me. Isn't it normal for an employer to give isn't it normal for an employer to give their subordinates the skills they need to succeed? You have to jump to an event before it and replay all the scenes up to that point, it's kind of a pain. Oh. He's anything but a normal employer. The more you struggle, the more he wants you to test your own limits. That's the high sign now. I see. Then he might not teach you if you were not his subordinate. The other timeline! You're right, I left Heist in that history. If you cannot extract something from him due to your current relationship, alter the relationship and perhaps you'll have the chance. True enough, I'll give it a try. 
If there's an opportunity to run into Heist in that timeline, that would be my chance. That's the spear. You're going quite accustomed to traversing history. Keep it up, Stock. Well then, until we meet again... Wait... I feel like they just said some very contradictory things here. Because I know you get an ability to turn invisible at some point, but I don't know when that happens. So, you're telling me that the jump to an event before it and replay all the scenes... I think... Uh, I don't know, I remember somebody else was able to, um... Was somebody else teaches us. I don't know who. But we get the skill somewhere. And plus, we can advance in the other timeline anyway. And I was planning on doing that once I got to this part. So let's go to the other timeline. I mean, we gotta do it eventually, right? We'll, we'll get this little side mission thing later on. So, uh, we'll time travel to, I guess, here. Uh... Okay, so... Now that we have our mana site, we can go and find bombs. The hidden bombs. I don't know where they are. At all. But, they're in some rooms, I think. I'll just have to wander around until I find them, I guess. There's one. I disarmed the bomb. There are four more bombs left to disarm. I see this dumbass Coke Gaming ad one more time, I'm jailbreaking my phone to get that fucker. Oh shit! There's chests in here too. Emeralds. Emeralds, you say? Is that a knight? Is that like. Ooh! Ooh! <laughs> okay. Repels poison. Uh. I'll hold on to that for now. Oh my god, I got partnered. Thank you, Coke Gaming, for the 10,000 bits. 10,000 bits? I wouldn't mind that. Panacea Plus. Wait, Panacea Plus? Yo, hold up. One ally cures all ailments. All ally. Oh, shit, that's really good. Oh, I'm also gonna rest up. Yeah, now see, why would I why would I use my mana crystals when I can just teleport here to heal for free? That seems like a huge oversight in the programming. But that's okay. Oh boy, I have absolutely no idea where the other bombs are. I'm just gonna run around. Hey Kiel, do you wanna teach me how to become invisible? No. Oh, there's a bomb. There are three more bombs left to disarm. Just 
should be one here, right? Or there should be something. Mana Crystal X2, awesome. Some are in rooms behind beds. Oh, there we go. There are two more bombs left to disarm. Yeah, you shouldn't feel too bad about spoiling this, because, yeah, like you said, this part's going to be annoying. There's one. There should be one more here, right? I think. Leaf ring. Oh, that just sounds like a better version of the other thing. The other ring. Here, Marco, you can have it. You need more help. What was that now? Dark Shield Scroll, inscribed with the secret spear technique of magic defense. Ooh. Maybe it. Oh, you know what? I bet you it's to teach Rainy a new skill. Or maybe Rosh, but one of the two of them. Because I remember something like that. Well, doesn't seem like there's another one on this floor. I can't run around that. Or anything here? Secret techniques to give certain characters later. Yeah, I thought it was something like that. Dude! Why? Like, can you at least give me a radar or something? Like, this is getting annoying. I think the last one might be on the first floor because I'm not seeing it anymore here. Alright, fuck it, we're going back down to the first floor. We already got the chest there. Stop getting in my way! Oh, this is taking forever. In the original dialogue, it said they were all on the first floor, but of course they aren't, because game design! <laughs> Thank you. 
Uh, wasn't there also some sort of like th like barricade thing in one of these rooms? Or did I do that already and I forgot? This is seriously driving me up a wall. This. There. At least I was right about the barricade thing. 2,000 bucks. Awesome. Can we also find the last bomb? Because I would like to advance with the game. Oh! I think all the bombs have been disarmed. Hopefully they'll cause some positive changes. Oh my god. There we go. Hey, stock, our briefing's over. Uh, assigned us a mission, except I also don't want to read. Yeah, I know. They all head out. And, uh, send reinforcements so that we can make the bad decision. Uh, sergeant or something. I understand the sentiment, but won't the defenses here suffer if we did that? We can divide the brigade in two. I'll head up the backup unit while you hold this position. We don't have time to ponder it, do we? Well, you think that's what's best. I'll go with it. Let's do what Stock says. We'll divide the brigade in two. We've got to hurry or it's useless. The Rosh Brigade sent a portion of its men to assist Field Marshal Viola's troops. The detachment led by Stock flanked High Colonel Diaz with with a brilliant tactical ambush, shocked High Colonel Diaz had no choice but to sound his retreat. The trap he had set was already in motion. Groundwork was also using a detachment force to climb the sand fortress. Rosh fought bravely, but with his limited numbers, he was quickly overpowered. The Alisal army was left stranded in Grand Arc territory. Wait, do I have to do all the bombs again? Should I not have done that yet? Uh, not have done that beforehand? You've returned stock. It's hard to say whether Granorg or Alistol is the stronger of the two nations, but it seems that this time fortune favored Granorg. Granorg has fully become aware of Alistol's strategy. Isn't it like one of the rules of being a general to absolutely never split your army in half? You will have to work twice as hard to stay ahead of the curve. I apologize that my advice is so cryptic, but please know that we are on your side, even though we're not supposed to pick sides, as we have said before. Oh my god, I'm not watching this again. I'm not! Yeah, I might have to do the bombs again. I hope not. I probably- uh, yeah, I actually, I probably will. I probably should have just... Uh, yep. Yep. I think so. Wasn't there like one over here? I'm sorry. I didn't think about this. Well, hang on. We can check and see if we found them all, because there were, I remember where the last one was. So maybe we already got it. Oh, fuck, we have to find them all. Uh, sit tight, everyone. I'm sorry. Uh, There's two. I think the other ones are on the other floors.
I know, I'm sorry. I thought it would remember that I had found all the bombs, and then I realized that it booted you back out. There we go, we're almost there. Last one's on the top four. There we go. That didn't take too long, thankfully. I'm sure that v the vastly superior Radiant Historia perfectly perfect chronology would have remembered. It absolutely would have. Uh, prioritize the mission. Let's not do this again. Uh, Captain, do you think we should join the battle of reinforcements? No, we can't do that. A losing battle isn't won by throwing manpower. Besides, the field marshal Viola is in danger should be prudent enough to contact us. We need to stay the course and prioritize defending the sand fortress. I'm not skipping this because... The dialogue is going to be different very soon. Ross seems pretty calm about all this. He probably knows what the best course of action is without even having to hear me say it. <laughs> then it's settled. We should make our rounds to keep them in alert. Doc, you noticed too? Yeah, let's follow him. Captain, we're going after that renegade soldier. Hey, hey! That wasn't one of my men. And the advance party should be well north of here in Grand Plain. That means... Kyo, come on, I need to join the pursuit! Tell that to Ulysses S. Grain. All he did was throw men at the south and it worked. Oh, understood! I want this entire floor in lockdown. Titan security. We're going after them. I don't like how this looks. You're in command here, soldier. Sir, yes, sir. Stock! We lost him. Seriously, he was going as fast as legs could carry him. We were right behind you, so there's no way he doubled back into the fortress. C Captain! What happened? Enemy attack, sir. The fortress is breached. They must have advanced in the dead of night. We estimate they're about 300 strong. Then the Diaz Knights in the Grand Plain were a decoy? Damn it! Instead of the main defenses in the center of the fortress, we'll try to hold the north end where they're strongest, then deal with the ones inside. It'll help a lot when the fortress is not blown up. That man, the sergeant, must the sergeant saw must have been an enemy spy. They probably timed their strike with Field Marshal Viola's troops leaving the plain. We can consider that later. Right now, our primary focus is defending this fortress. Right. To do that, we have to stop the enemy from getting in. Contact all the squad leaders. Have to send their men around. Go! Understood. Oh, that wasn't Kiel. Understood. What is this coin stuff? I have no idea. I have no idea. I think Twitch just auto-assigns a level up and a currency thing based on how often you watch. Uh, there's probably some sort of commands I can set up with it. I can look into that soon. I have no idea how that works, though. But congratulations on hitting level 2, because that's clearly a very important status symbol. We need to go, too. We have to drive them back no matter what. Alright, is Rosh in the party? Yes, he is. He's level 12, so we're gonna... We're going to bop him in Rainy's spot. We're going to do a couple of fights. 
get ourselves a bit of experience. Wow, these guys are strong. Clearly need to be more careful. Well, actually, hang on. I'll do you one better. I'll knock you to the left, and then Marco can hit both of you. not kill him. Finally! Wow, that was way harder than it should have been. Oh, he's got grapple now. That's good. So, I think what we gotta do... Yeah, Rosh is kinda lagging behind a little. Unlike you, the prestigious level 2 viewer. <laughs> Does, does Rosh not have push assault? Alright, then, uh. I'll still do it. I'll knock him to the right. Then I'll get Marco to push assault. Then I'll get Rosh to grapple them. Then I'll get Stock to power wave them. Oh, boy. He gets it pretty late. Really? Okay. Seems a little bit odd. Oh, he's got a defense boost, doesn't he? Oh, that's terrible. Oh, I guess we can only just keep hitting him and hope that it does something. It's not going to do a whole lot.
Wait, I can use the limit break, can I? Huh. I don't think I want to use it right now. I won't worry about the... Uh, I, I want to kill this game. This is what I want to do. Come on, Marco! You've got to be kidding me! That's okay. Rosh has got it. Yeah, now we can just auto-battle this guy. It won't be that bad. I'm the only one streaming this masterpiece. I've I've followed this game. It doesn't seem like a whole lot of people stream it though. Uh, I will turn break. What enemy is the front guy? The bot. So I'll turn break an archer, and that's it, I guess. Push Assault... No wait, Marco should do that. Push Assault... This guy. Then... Stock should go twice then. So no wait, he'll go... He'll go... Right Assault. Then you'll change with Stock. Then Stock will use Right Assault again. And then Rosh can do this. Well, that went pretty well. Now I'm going to be careful because I think there are traps here. I don't know if you can break them. Ah, you can. That's what I thought. this kills him. There we go. Good job! Raise your defense when you have, like, no health left. Good job there, pal. Good, good call. You really saved the squad on that one. Uh, oh yeah, I already got that. I'm just gonna walk up here slowly. Okay, we're good. That's all of them. Looks like we managed to drive them back. It's not over yet. Damn it, they're persistent. We can't let any of them get into the fortress. Our situation may not have reached Field Marshal Viola by now, so I'm sure she'll come back. We just have to hang in there a little while longer. Wow, it pays off optimistic subordinates. Mikhail's right. That one's the commander! Take him down! Ooh! 
Okay. He was playing the long game? Who is playing the long game? Uh... Right assault on this guy. Get them. Get him the hell out of here. And then I think I will use magic boost on stock because that seems like it would be helpful. Ah, 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 no you don't! I'm oh, not push assault, um... Right assault, I think, because... Dang! They're persistent, these guys! They have a lot of health! Considering they're, that they're light enemies. And then Marco can push. There we go. Oh, he's in the back! No! That's not good. I've also been really procrastinating Marco using his turn break. Yeah, maybe we should do that now. Change with Marco. And we'll let him at the turn break. Wow, there's a lot of stuff here. We may have won the, the battle, but that guard spamming soldier will win the war. <laughs> oh, the enemy. Wow, I have a great short term. I have no idea what I'm even going to do here. Uh, push Assault this guy. Then we'll use Fire, because if we take out the Grey Shadow, then we can start to uh, relax a little. Oh my god. Holy shit. Oh boy. Jesus Christ! We need to get them out of this this power zone, Toronto. Oh my god. I did not realize that it was that it was that strong. Temporarily boost defense. That's starting to sound like a good idea. That's starting to sound like a mighty fine idea. Oh, and he just moves back. But oh, but that's his turn. So, yeah. Uh. Okay, but see, can you not be in there? Damn, even to Rosh. They do a fuck of load. That's a lot. That is too much. This is a hard fight. Holy shit. I did not realize how hard this is. Hopefully this kills him. Uh... And then Marco can use one of these healing herbs, because everyone's kind of hurt for a squirtin' right now. Good lord. Oh my god, that nasty power zone has finally worn off. It's about damn time. Okay. 
Okay. All right there, buddy. Don't get too confident in your abilities. Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. Eat it, asshole. Oh no, they're playing the long haul again. They're playing the long haul game. I, yeah, I've noticed that. The buffs are very the buffs are very strong. Unlike the X items in Pokemon. I don't know. People seem to use those X items in speedruns and stuff a lot. I didn't, but I'm not gonna disregard that that means that I'm not gonna say that that means they're weak. I just I didn't use them because when I played Pokemon I was very young and I did not know strategy. To be fair, when I first played this game, I did not know strategy. Like I can guarantee you, when I was at this part point in the game, my characters were probably almost level 30. And I still probably found it about equally as challenging as I do now. Okay, there we go. It appears that we are going to survive. How splendid. Uh, wait, what? That's not what I wanted to do. You know what, Rosh? Use your fucking... Use your thing again. Use this. Uh, then we'll change with Marco. Marco... Magic boost. Stock. Stock will use... Wait, hold up, hold up. I have an even better idea. Use the, uh, left assault attack. Bring this fucker over here. Uh, then magic boost stock, then use the fire over here. Oh boy! Yeah, buddy, let's go. And you're dead. Only the dire hits and X evasions? Really? Because I watched like a Gen 1 speedrun and they were like. Area Heal, by the way, sounds amazing. I was watching a Gen 1 speedrun before, and they were using, like, X-Speed and X-Accuracy because of the way that the one-hit KO moves work. Ah, Captain, the enemy is getting away! Our orders were to defend the fortress. We can't defend in our post. Looks like we managed to defend the fortress. Now all we need is Viola's safe return. The enemy might still be nearby. Do not pursue if it means going too far out. Field Marshal Viola, you're safe? I should be asking you the same question. Are you alright? My subordinates helped us get through this. Good, you can tell me more once we get inside. I can only say that because of the success we owe to you and your... I can only say that because of the success we owe to you. You honor our country with your service. Now come. This can't be! How could not one bomb have gone off? We had the bomb set in place, I know it! Damn, the mission has failed! Sound the retreats! Oh, okay. Yeah, Gen I, from what I've seen, Gen 1 has a lot of weird design choices. In it. Weird or just, like, bad. Like how focus energy literally just debuffs you when it's not supposed to. They're retreating. I prevented the explosions and we got rid of the troops that got into the fortress. Hopefully we avoided the worst case scenario. Still, we can't relax yet. The moment I realized the troops in the Grand Plain were a decoy, I cursed my carelessness. But even amid such chaos, your men defended the fortress happily. You are indeed the young lion of Alistair. I'm impressed. Your praise is an honor, but all I did was accomplish the mission. Diaz, the enemy knight commander, was in the front lines in the plane. But it seems that Count Selvin's troops were the ones given the covert sabotage operation. 
It was truly my mistake to have fallen for it. It's in the past. If there's a prize that needs only to be taken, you gain nothing by holding back. Had I been in your shoes, I would have marched to Diaz without a second thought. Had your brigade not arrived, this fortress would be theirs now. This must be the fruits of the Prophet Noah's guidance. To respond in kind, I will inform headquarters of this victory person. Thank you very much, but, well, please don't go to any trouble to exaggerate the briefing. Haha, <laughs> indeed. Their rumor mill can be tr truly dreadful. Because of how the integer rounding works. Yeah, the... Yeah, because... The way the 100 accuracy moves work in that game is it's like, oh, okay. It, it rolls a number from 1 to 255, and if it's less than 255, then it's fine. But 255 isn't less than 2, or no, 0 to 255, I, I think. And then if it's, if it, you get the 1 in 256 chance, yeah, something like that. I haven't played any of the old Pokemon games. My first one I played was Gen 5. And I haven't played Pokemon in a long time. If a rumor were to put one of the dignitaries in a foul mood... No, 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 that's not what I was implying. Don't worry, I understand. Now please take the rest of the day to recuperate. Starting tomorrow, I will need to rely on you yet again. Understood. You're free to go. Dismissed. I hope you'll reward the efforts of your subordinates. Yes, sir. Thank you for your consideration. If you'll excuse me. Yay! Ah, Captain, and Sergeant, too! Look, Field Marshal Viola presented us with some vintage wine. Whoa, the Field Marshal may act like a hardline, but she's just a softie to me. Well then, this calls for a toast to the Young Lions of Alistair. Oh, come on. Can you cool it with the Young Lions thing? Sorry, but even Field Marshal Viola's troops have caught on. Exactly, did I watch the... Yeah, Game Champ 3000. That's... I watched that the other day, actually. And and as soon as he explained the whole, Oh, if I mess up, I'm not going back into... I'm not cheating the save files. And I'm like, that sounds like the most horrible, awful thing you could put yourself through as an individual. But I had also, um, I had heard about it before that video, because there's an AGDQ dr drink drinking in my E10 plus game. <laughs> but, um, yeah, uh, I had seen, there's an AGDQ video, it was a, I don't know what year it was, but it was a guy called Gunner Maniac running Pokemon Yellow, and... He explained all of his tragedies with the 1 and 256 glitch. If Field Marshal Viola is the Valkyrie, then Captain Rush, then Captains Rush and Stock are the Young Lions. And for the record, I think it's very fitting. I'm just happy to find under such amazing leadership. Young lions, eh? I think it's got a nice ring to it. Why can't you two just accept praise and move on? Doesn't it feel good every once in a while? It's thanks to you two that we survived the day. A toast to our captains. <sighs> okay, okay. Just don't let it get out of hand, guys. Yeah, but pr particularly in that generation, where there's a small risk of death every, every turn, because you might miss... few days later. Everyone! What's the matter, Kiel? Field Marshal Viola and the Captain would like to have a work with you in the hall. Alright, I'll head over. I think we're almost at Alternate History Chapter 2, and I might call the stream after that, because I've been going at this for a while. We've made some Pretty good progress, I'd say, though. Ah, there you are. I know this is going to sound sudden, but I've been ordered to return to Alistair. Well, that is rather sudden, considering we were just sent here. Just you, though, Captain? Yeah, looks that way. 
I reported your remarkable service in the fort's defense to headquarters the other day. It seems General Hugo was quite moved. My understanding is that they plan to celebrate your victory with some pomp and circumstance. But why single me out? The entire brigade performed admirably. And we never would have succeeded were it not for stock. Ah, uh, yeah, who the hell do you think disarmed all those invisible bombs? Rosh. Yeah, what's up, Stock? Do you remember our conversation from the other day? Oh, that. We can't rule out the possibility that Hugo is scheming something. You're right, I'll be careful. I hope everything goes without incident. That reminds me, you should come along too, Kiel. Even though he very specifically said only me. Mimi, but I'm practically still the new recruit, Captain. I believe Sergeant Stock should go instead. Come on, use your head. If he comes with me, then who's gonna look after the men that are still stationed here? Oh, true. Go on, it's not like you should be arguing the Captain's orders anyway. That's right, Kiel. Someone needs to pick up that medal in Stock's stead. Oh, understood. I'll perform my duty as the sergeant stand in to the best of my ability. It looks like everything's been taken care of, then. Don't worry about your men, I'll look after them too. I'm sure the sergeant would appreciate any help he can get. <laughs> and then he, and then stops just like, for the last damn time, I'm a lieutenant now! Thank you for your consideration, Field Marshal Viola. Don't mention it, anything with the young lion of Alistair, right? As I said before, I'd appreciate it if you didn't call me that. <laughs> I was just teasing. Now you should immediately depart for us, uh, Alistair. Hold your head high and stand proud in public. Yes, sir. Well, then we'll head out. Kill. Is something wrong, Sergeant Stock? I want you to be cautious around General Hugo. Don't let Rush rush out of your sight. Huh? What do you mean? General Hugo may dislike us. But, but, how could General Hugo... Sergeant, you shouldn't say such things to such fragile young recruits. We... Understood. I don't see the big picture, but I'll be vigilant, and I'll stay right at the captain's side. I'm counting on you. Uh... I don't know who's saying this, so... It seems the mass production of thaw, mach thaw machines is going smoothly. And the Divine Judgment? Uh... Oh, it was Hugo. Okay. And the Divine Judgment? That? Hmm. That's two. Or it would be, at least, except for one thing. Which is... I'm not making sculptures to be displayed in the square, you know. The worst fate for men like me is to expect us to be satisfied without using our creations. How much longer are you going to force me to go on this way? Who knows? I recall you saying once you'd be happy as long as you could continue your research. Urgh, that's not the point. If that isn't the point, Fennel, I advise you stop I advise you to stop trying our patience and come to it. Fine, fine, I'll just ask. Why won't you send my thumb machines into the front lines? I keep hearing they're being saved for your own personal troops. Yeah, the, the robo slug. I was about to say, like, what the hell is it? Which, for all intents and purposes, means they may as well be sculptures. Army policy must consider the long term. Stop! Enough! That's not what I want to hear! I barely had a scrap full of useful combat data for se several months. I demand more. What I mean is, now is not the time to focus on manufacturing these things. And what will you do when the ha when the mass-produced models have a critical flaw? Theory isn't practice. A weapon isn't truly usable until there's data that supports it. Mechanical improvements made little by little, that's what will create the perfect weapon. And for that I need data. Raw data. As much as I can get. Yeah, I figured he's human, but, like, they seem to have modified on his body to a bigger extent than they did for Rosh. 
Ha! You're truly a difficult one to please. No wonder you're the most celebrated Thaumatech engineer in Vancouver. General, I came here for one reason. I was told that I'd be able to do all the research I pleased. My work is going to continue to be held back by the military's pigheadedness. What do you want me to do? I've been telling you, I want data. I'm not picky. Can't you dispatch a large force soon? A typically troublesome demand. But is it really? Our recent skirmish at the Sand Fortress. It didn't go how we planned, but from another perspective it would be a perfect opportunity. Are you saying to take our losses in stride and keep pressing the front line forward? Yes, exactly. Then we can give Fennel here what he wants. <laughs> you can make shit with no hands! <laughs> I never even noticed that, but yeah, it doesn't really look like he does. And if you play your cards right, General Hugo, you can achieve some of your own dreams. Or are you still going to claim that there's a reason to draw out the war? There's nothing for it, then. I'll have to go with that. We'll have the Rosh Brigade move, make the first move and deploy four thaw machines to the fortress. Hum, hum, hum. That would be excellent. I must hurry and make the necessary preparations. Ah, Data, the beautiful crystals of promising potential. Wow, that voice is hard in my throat. You've returned, Stock. You did a good job finding the bombs set up by Granorg, but a new threat unlike anything you've encountered thus far draws near. Please be careful, Stock. Let us now add a new chapter to the White Chronicle. Hell yeah! Alternate History Chapter 2 Fall. Here we are again! Some irony, huh? Using the secret passage the enemy made to get an advantage over them. Alright, let's go over the operational details. We're here to scout out the enemy forces for our invasion of Grand Plain. But, will it work? Hmm? I mean, won't the enemy expect us to use the secret passage? There's always that possibility. Actually, there's no way they wouldn't anticipate it. But the enemy is focused on the Sand Forces right now. They don't have many troops to spare, so we can probably accomplish this mission with a small brigade. That's what headquarters thinks, anyway. I see, so that's why they're not sending many troops. Yeah, the order came down from General Hugo himself. It seems he has faith in our skills. The ceremony of the other day sure was amazing. We need to live up to his trust in us. Well, don't get too excited. This is still a dangerous mission. We'll start things off with a diversionary force from the fortress. The enemy will obviously respond by sending out their soldiers, which lets us see the numbers. Once we've checked out, once we've checked that, we'll briefly rendezvous with the diversion force of the tree. Any questions? All right, then let's go. Will do. <coughs> oh, that's a mood, Viola. My voice is dying. Are you alright? I've just got a scratch in my throat, that's all. <coughs> that sounds serious. Don't make such a fuss. It's nothing. Moving on, I'll outline your next mission. We just received word from HQ that the main force is prepared now to make it home. Rosh's brigade has entered Grand Plain from the path around the line. That's the same route the enemy used back then. What should we do? Stock's Brigade will enter the Grand Plain from the fortress and rendezvous there with Roshes. Once you've made contact, retreat quickly and bring Roshes until back to headquarters. That is your mission. Huh, okay. The prototype thumb machines will actually will finally see actual combat in this operation. Once we have reliable intel on the enemy's position and numbers, we will attack the force. We're using thumb machines, huh? This is and this is a really serious operation. As I recall, thaw machines aren't effective at scouting since they need so much energy to move. She ate sand and started to choke. <laughs> she she just killed one of the uh, one of the soldiers and and was about to inhale all the sand and then just started coughing on it. So 
So our strategy is to pinpoint the enemy's position and send them into the targeted area? Right, you've done your homework, Marco. Uh, oh no, it's nothing special, huh? We'll also send a diversionary force from the fortress during the operation. It'll cover you and Rosh during your retreat. Where's the rendezvous point? To the west of the plains, specifically an area a little south and to the west. That's quite a distance. They won't be cornered by the enemy there, will they? No need to worry. We've planned this operation carefully as far as that goes. Alright. <sighs> Rainy Marco, let's go. We'll be counting on you. Alright, I'm just gonna check my uptime because we've just started the second chapter. Five hours and 48 minutes. That's a long stream for one game. But at the same time, I really enjoyed this game. Rendezvous with Rosh at Grand Point. I don't know. Could we go a little longer? I think we might be able to go a little longer. Wow, I haven't saved in almost an hour. Ah, what the hell, let's do it. Are there still going to be traps here? Doesn't look like it. Hey! They're here! You gotta go to bed soon, because you got exams? Alright, well... Oh yeah, because, um... My exams are all early, so yeah, mine are all finished. Uh, okay, well... It I think I could call it here. I've been streaming this for almost six hours, my voice is really tired. And... And... I... I don't know, I mean, there's other people here, but I like having someone in the chat. And you've been in the chat for a while, so... I think I'm gonna call it here, give my voice a little bit of a rest. We did get through, like, a whole chapter today in both routes, so that's, like, probably 10% or more of the game, honestly. Oh, but at the, at, at the same time, though, I really just want to keep going. This game is really fun. Let me just uh, see if these people are actually real and not just bots. Because if they're bots, then I'll then I'll stop the stream. Uh... You got like an hour? Uh... Nah... I, I think I think I want to stop, cause... You should, you should go to sleep if you have exams. I don't want anyone to be tired for exams, cause... That would be bad. I know, and I was... Because one, one night before one of my exams, I couldn't sleep very well, and then that made writing the exam a little bit harder. And I think my voice needs a rest, because particularly that fennel voice was really hard. So that's going to be it. I I did just save, right? Yeah, I did. Um. So, thanks to everyone for watching. I'll, uh, I'll probably be on streaming this game more tomorrow. Maybe we can get through a whole other chapter. Uh, but yeah. 
that's going to be it for me. I hope everyone has a good night. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next time.